All right, I'm back, ready for more. So my own money right there. Hey, Huck, good morning. How you doing? Welcome in. First one in. Look at that. Just went live a couple seconds ago. I have a uh, new short I just uploaded. And we're trying to get back into some storytelling here shortly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Role playing. Way of the road. Ryder Whitlock. Red Dead Redemption 2 role play. Yes, sure. You're all doing well. Is your name Jed out? How do you say your name? Welcome in, man. So, St. Denise is empty right now. We're on a little earlier than usual. There's only 51 out of 192 online. And, uh, I think my buddy's online. I'm gonna telegram him. And if he is, we'll get out on the road and get back to it. Do business wise, Rob folks. 
Check my telegram one more time. Iced out, partner. Okay, iced out. There we go. I looked like a J for some reason, because it's all fancy uh, lettering. Iced out. Is that like a Mortal Kombat reference? It looks like you have like a Mortal Kombat guy's face. Sub-Zero. Down. Ooh, I cannot wait for today to get started. It's gonna be so goddamn good. If we get a lot of guns, ooh, big difference. Big difference. Oh, we just got a new subscriber. We're at 5,250. Hell yeah. Oh, way. Oh, way. If you guys want to do me a favor while we're getting the stream started up, I have a new short that's uploaded. It's only got two views. If you watch it through 100%, give it a like. That helps out a lot. Ugh. <laughs> Ooh. One of the dogs I'm watching just farted. Uh. You smell bad. Can you give me a little uh, recap backstory on Ryder? Missed out a little. Um, the good thing is, too, that I have uploaded uh, a bunch of RP involving him. But uh, Ryder, some of it some of it is missing, but you can find it in the streams, some of it. But some of it's missing because I deleted a bunch of uh, videos because I was depressed one day. And I was thinking about deleting my channel. At one point, it was dumb. But uh, Ryder came to the crossing to help out um, his boss of a job kidnapping two doctors. One was his daughter, Marjorie, and um, it was a job where it involved torture and stuff. So Ryder's not a really good guy. He's, he's an outlaw, he's, he's dangerous, he's, you know, he's lack, he lacks good morals most of the time. And um, so he started out doing an operation with uh, Nigel uh, and the rest of the rest of the uh, crooked the crooked hand, which is the name of the organization they were with, and they um, did this operation and um, kidnapped his daughter Marjorie, who betrayed the uh, Nigel, which is the father and the, the who runs the business, and um, she he had her tortured and disfigured. And uh, we had, they had his, uh, her husband tortured and disfigured as well. And that's where it started. And then after that job was done, Nigel left this, left the uh, country without telling the rest of his crew and left us out here to rot. And the law caught us, uh, caught a few of us one at a time. And uh, Redwater came after us, which is a, a bounty hunting agency. And then since then, uh, Ryder's been uh, a highway bandit. It's really hard to find him because he's always on the road and stuff. Hardly ever comes in the town. He's in, he's in Saint Denis because of business right now. But um, basically, recap is this time he's he's building up a gang on his own. He's putting together a group of people to start uh, robbing the roads and numbers. And he went to Cisco once as well, which is a prison. Yeah. And right now he's got uh, Bentley. Uh, crooks underneath his wing and he's teaching him how to be a better outlaw Evening, mister. That's basically where we're at so far. And I got I got some videos uploaded of showing uh, Ryder and some of the things he's doing. But um, 
unfortunately, I deleted a, a good chunk of his early story when I was very, very depressed a couple months back. And I regret it because there was some really good shit that happened. Really good, really good action, really good story. The law chasing me, things like that. Perfect. Keep it on a telegrams. Supreme Leader uh, Kolchak. I like that name, Kolchak. I'm curious is why don't you stream on Twitch? I do stream on Twitch. Um, I usually multi-stream. Um, but right now my internet isn't the greatest. One second. All right, Bentley. You ready to ride? Yeah, you have breakfast too? Uh, I had a can of beans. I'm fine for now. Can of beans? That's no way to start a morning. That's how I start my morning in an apple. Uh, at least you get some fruit. I tell you, the best beans in the in the cross are the sands baked beans. Beans, beans, good for the heart. Has a slight taste of pork. All right. Well, I'm used to my breakfast as being a little more diverse than just beans. All right. Well, there's a general store nearby. Get what you need and meet me right here. No, I already ate. I had breakfast at some fancy restaurant. Oh. All right, let's go. Good earnings. I had enough of this town. Peckerhead kept uh, yelling all night shit, about Jesus and shit. There you are. All right. Follow me. <laughs> that poor fellow, what'd he do to you? <laughs> Nothing. I just woke up on the wrong side of the bed, is all. Yeah, someone should have told him. I gotta get my morning kicks off sometimes. He was wearing a nice peckerhead suit, anyways. Like I was saying, next time we're around, you should go to some fancy restaurant to eat some good food. Better than beans. Yeah, maybe. You know, some places like that won't allow a dirty looking some bitch in there unless he's wearing his nice Sunday clothes. Hey, you said you got Sunday clothes. Now it does. Well, there we go. I only wear them when I'm doing business, like involving lots of money. We're going to check the farm nearby here right first. I bet this will be somebody there. Shit. There he is. Right, right off to the right here, we uh, put on our disguises.
folks like to do uh, deliveries this early in the in the morning at night. Hey, we're doing oranges right now, but if we head to uh, the last spot we saw a fella coming down the tracks, we're live we'll see someone there for sure. And you got this next one, right? Yeah, I got it. Good, I want to see how he does it. Heads up, guys who are new. When I'm role playing, I don't re I read chat, but I don't respond to it as much. But uh, if you want some uh, RP tips, just kind of watch and see how I do things. I'm very interactive. I try to play a character. I try to tell more story first instead of shooting. You know. Some bitch, I ain't see you. What I was saying, I ought to go uh, to the mining place, pretend to be a miner for a little bit, and learn the route people take from Annisburg to see what roads they commonly go down first when they're doing their damn delivery. So I could be waiting a little closer. I'll show you another risky spot I like to go to as well. This early ain't so bad. It's over by Valentine. There's a bridge that goes across the river. I like to wait there sometimes. Right ahead. Never mind, keep going. Follow me. Could be law. There's, uh, there were about five of them there. Two of them are already there. One was riding up. Not a good situation unless we had more boys. We'll all like to look at that uh, station out there. Because it's out in the open. And they like, the outlaws like to go there sometimes to do their uh, telegrams. The law is always watching that place. You got to be careful.
Make sure when you ride up with the next guy, he hears you. You gotta be nice and loud. Cut to these trees right here. I hear it's a good spot, but a lot of people use it because it's so close to uh, roads. What did you say? A lot of people use this area. You see them coming through, but it's also the main road in our road, so it's busy. you got to be careful robbing on it sometimes. I've got a few people right here at this, at this intersection. Wait, 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 wait. Some feathers fishing. Let's get them. We have to go around. No man has a lantern on his horse. <laughs> no man's fishing.
All right. Get ahead of me. Get ahead of me. I want you to take take lead. Are you a smart fella, or are you a stupid fella? I would say I am a... I'm a genius. A genius? Well, a genius <laughs> wouldn't risk his life over a bunch of things, is that right? I suppose. Alright, so, Mr. Genius. You've convinced me that you're a rather smart man. So why don't you keep on convincing me that? And turn around and stick your hands up. <laughs> I like conversation too, but things are a must. Uh, you got some interesting things, mister. You rich, some bitch. Got ninety dollars. He's a good fisherman, though I can tell. What's this here rifle? This is fancy. Uh, can I make a request? Could you <laughs> request? <possibly> <laughs> What's your request, feller? Go on. What is it? Entertain us. Possibly leave the rifles and you can take anything else and everything else. <laughs> like he has a say in this. <laughs> yeah, let me ask you a question. What type of rifle is it? Uh, it's a Litchfield. Is that an expensive It's rifle? a good one. Take it. It's a good one? Take it. Sorry, yes. Sally. It's not my choice. Right, take this here pistol. Take this here rifle. You know what, maybe you'll find it at the local pawn shop if you're lucky. <laughs> you can buy it back. You know what? I'll give you I'll give you my telegram. You contact me with yours and I'll let you know which pawn shop it's left at, alright? Uh it sound fair? So you can buy it back for yourself so it's not gone to the wind. Okay. No, Ryan. What kind of All pistol right. does he have? He's got a skull field. Take that as well. Yeah, I did. All right. Good. So my telegram, it's a QQ216. <laughs> <laughs> and he ain't lying he about that either. Trail? No, no it's true. Uh, it's real. It's QQ216. I was surprised to hear it myself. All right, yeah. smart fellow, Mr. Genius. I'll leave you be. Don't want to waste any more of your valuable smart time. So you're around, Peckerhead. You want your rifle back. Let's go. So you made two mistakes. You ain't asking what his name is, and you ain't asking who he rides with. Lucky for you, I know who he is, so that's why I didn't interrupt you. If it was someone important, and I thought they was, I would have interrupted you there, but I want to let you make that mistake so I can tell you later. Besides that, it was pretty smooth. We get Alrighty. How many rifles do you have on him? Man, it sounded like he had a few. He had a what? No, he had one rifle or two. Follow me this way, I see law.
Law tend to wear white hats and white shirts sometimes, and that's what they, they were wearing back that way. Just in case. If it was by himself, there's three of them. And I ain't even getting a shootout with just a pistol. I cut over towards the hills and then um, we we'll split the loot there. <laughs> Q, Q, two, one, two. Is that a joke? No, sir. That's, that's real. <laughs> if we do sell to my associate, uh, who ain't Frank, my other associate. I ain't tell you his name yet because I can't. Um, he ain't a pawn shop. He ain't ever gonna see that rifle again if it goes to the other guy. You know, I was thinking of uh, selling it back to him myself, actually. Not a bad idea. Litchfield's a valuable gun. He might want it back. Yeah. Careful, he might try to ambush you, though. He might try. I have his telegram, I believe. Look here. How much do you think that rifle's worth? I'll, I'll give it to you. Take a look at it. Uh, I'm, I don't remember. 300, maybe. I was real pissed when I lost mine. I had it in the Itchfield as well. It's a real good gun. Probably one of the best, if you ask me. Other than that nice hunting rifle that puts people down. And there's an elephant gun. But you got on to, you earned it. Alright. Half the money, and I like that Schofield as well. Keep, this, keep the gun on your horse, just in case the log gets us. They don't always search the horses. In fact, they never have. I see someone. Follow me. What's in there, in there, partner? I'm doing good. Thank you very much. How about yourself? I'm doing well. What's your name, feller? It's Rock Boulder. Rock uh, Boulder. It's a good yeah, name. Strong going? name. My no, name's no. Mr. Happy. Rock oh. Boulder, you right of anyone out here? Uh, there was two people earlier who held me up at gunpoint, but they were real friendly and they left. Yeah? Who was they? Uh... I'm not sure, I can't remember the names, but it was two girls, and they said they worked with Rudy. Rudy? They didn't see no gang name, nothing like that. Uh, no. How much money do you have left, be honest? I mean, you can check my pockets. Uh, Just tell us. Just tell us. Be honest with us. Oh, sure. It's uh, $7.71, sir. You got any food? Uh, yeah, actually, I should just shot two turkeys, if you want them. Uh, oh, canned food, you know. goods to the road. Uh, I got some cooked meat and pomade. I'll take the cooked meat. Oh, sure. Uh, I've got five pieces for you. Go on, hand it up and give me the seven bucks as well. Yeah, uh, sure. Uh, hey, I... don't try nothing, Mr. Rock Boulder. You look like the strongest man I've ever seen. You could probably snap my arm with a little bit of your pinky. Oh, don't worry. I won't do that. 
I try and help people uh, everywhere I can. You know, when I took one look at you, I, I got nervous. I was like, that, that is a very strong man. I, I better be careful with that one. All right, back to your business. We got other things to tend to. We got bigger fish to find. Yeah, enjoy your day. Mm hmm. All right, Mr. Strongman. Good hunting. Mr. Happy. So, as fellas, I think we've seen over by the uh, telegram station, those is probably outlaws instead of the law. You might want to equip that Litchfield just in case. It's a good gun. They're out here, my stomping grounds, that is. <laughs> Over here. Stop right there. Stop right there. How you doing this morning? What's your name? Walter, nice to meet you. Walter. Who do you ride with? I'm not riding with anyone. You riding with anyone? What you got in that box there? Uh, just some some herbs and stuff like that. Some herbs. Basically, what I'm picking right now for cooking. I see. I see you picking out here. I yeah. want you to get down from your horse, nice and easy, like. All right. All right. Keep on riding, feller. Keep on riding. Put your hands up. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. We'll see what you have. If you're a smart man, I ain't got to kill you. I want your life. I just want what you have. Understood? Oh, shit. The fucking horse is running. Yes, it's, it's fine. No worries. No worries. Settle down, horses. You a miner? Yeah, mostly. I'll give hey, you... We should, uh, we should have a chat with this fella somewhere private-like. Yes, yeah, so I'm watching. No, I meant, I meant, because he's a miner. He's got, he might know some Oh, uh, yeah, I have some questions for you. All right. I'm going to take your, I'm going to, I'm going to take your weapons just for a bit. I'll give them back to you. I ain't want no cattlemen. I just don't want you to try nothing dumb, is all. That's all right. I understand that. I understand that. There's a Bible. Hmm. What I want you to do, get on back to my horse. Calm down. If you ask some questions, we'll leave you to, you to what she's doing. Get on. Come on. You said your name was Walter? Yeah. Walter Walsh. If you uh, give me the right information, I'll let you pass free for a while. If you come down this way and you see me again. But if I find out you lie to me, I'll drag you behind my horse for a half mile. Sound like a fair trade? Sounds reasonable, and I don't have a reason to lie, I guess. That's good, that's good. I'll rise it up on here. Right here in the shit, be a nice place to talk for a bit. Alright, go on and get down. Go ahead and put your hands away. Put, put them down. We'll put our guns away for now. You ain't got nothing. Walter, <laughs> when you use mine in Annisburg, you do cold deliveries, right? I do not do cold deliveries myself. I usually like sell all the stuff on that I'm uh, getting. Have you ever done one before, though? I, I have done cold deliveries before, but um, I rarely do them. All right, let me ask you this. When you leave in Annisburg, which road do you take out of it? Um, I'm running towards um, Van Horn, and uh, before uh, this train station that comes there, like the, the one that's abandoned, I'm going to the right side, past Butcher's Creek, and go next to the bridge of the train tracks and from there there's like this this farm right over there so you come out when all right there. so you come out on this side i've seen that before i just want to see yeah. where it starts by Annisburg. What, what route most people's taking save me some time i guess listen yeah it should be the fastest one to take that 
If you're robbed by some fellers and you say foxtail, if it's us, we let you go. If it's somebody else, well, tough luck. All right? All right. Someone's going to grab the out. On your horse, you got a, you got that box. You got any gems in there? Uh, no, I usually don't carry any gems with me. It's, again, like I sell on most of my stuff and I usually do it on the same day I get it. Okay. He's probably got meat and herbs in there, which I don't want to take from him. Too much hassle for us to sell. That's for sure. Come closer. I give you shit back. You walk back to your horse. Try to think dumb. My friend shoots you down. Understood? Yeah, yeah. No, no worries. Oh, your knife right here. All right, you get on get. All right. All right, let's ride. Good day. Well, I got $24 off the sum, bitch. He ain't carrying nothing special. Got some supplies and food off of him as well. Yeah, but the information might be good. Information was good. Yes, you agree it was. It, uh... Completes my idea of the route folks is taking out this way. You understood? Repeat. I, I was saying it completes my understanding of the routes folks is taking when they're doing coal deliveries out this way. They always take this little path right here. They come down that hill ahead of us, right? I wasn't sure from here, from there. Where was they coming? What road was they taking? What road should I take out that way? If I wanted to get out of the rough of uh, the heartlands. Heartlands is uh, easy to spot people. Hard to run sometimes. They got faster horses. But if you're out in the trees, they lose you real quick. Hell, I lose people all the time chasing through the damn trees. It pisses me off. Stop right here. Looks like it's just a pecker head to me. I'll give you, I mean, if you want, I can wait till I get some more money, but I got half a 20 I can give you. Nah, just wait. Right here. Go on, stop. Go on, stop now. Go on now, stop. Come on. Nice and easy, like there you is. Go ahead and take lead. So you're not gonna find me. God damn it, was it two ladies? Uh, yeah, June and another lady. Well, I did take him a volcanic off me, so uh... Which way they head? They were next to the oil fields when they uh, got me. When they got you? And you well, just feel come free to search me if you want. I don't want any trouble, gents. No, we've we've, we've you. you're not the first one. God yeah. damn it. We got competition uh, out uh, here. June Oh, I got another one. Riding across. Let's go. Oh, Lead the way. Yeah, you're good. Thanks for the help, fella. Lead the way. Oh, I see her. I see her. Over here. Nope. Oh, wild horses. Looks like wild horses. Yep. Shit. Yeah, it looks like we lost them. Hey, we did. 
Let's get let's get out of there. This area is hot right now because uh, people robbing folks out of this way. It mean, means the law will be out here any minute now. Yeah, I'm not gonna get pegged for someone else's fucking robberies. All right, let's let's head to the other side of Valentine. Good idea. <laughs> Follow me. Usually, even if they were just hit, I still check them anyways. But these ladies to clean them out. First guy ain't have nothing. Next person ain't have nothing. He ain't got no gun on his hip either. So whatever he had was taken already. God damn, pick anyone. My thought is either we meet them, we rob them. If they ain't affiliated with anyone important, if they knew some bitches, he ain't got no friends out here. They they easy pickings then. They free game. That's, yeah, I The next thing is, if I like them, ask them to ride with us. <laughs> I think it's this way we want to go for now. We want to end up in the canyon. Right, someone's got the smart idea to rob my circle. The way I does it. He was transporting coal. Oh, I see. That might be a highway robber, but I wouldn't mind robbing a train full of folks. I hear they do have a safe on it, but I ain't never cracked no damn safe. Well, I'm more interested on a busy train full of folks we could rob. That's what I'm interested in. All them uh, deputies, they usually have two deputies ride it, plus two of uh, the transportation fucks. And then they got a bunch of customers. The best place to ambush, I'd say, would be the station out here. The game's going good, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying the stream. Uh, the assassin will come in, guys. Thank you very much. You gotta get you a faster horse as well.
Right here, train shows up sometimes. Ain't nobody here, you should see horses. There's a change room inside and telegrams. Alright, let's hit backside of uh, Valentine. Those those two folk up there, they were cracker heads? Mm-hmm. Huh. Double check. Just some peckerheads. Look at them. Look how dumb they look right now. They're, they're very yappy folk. Look at you. Get on out of here. Yep, yep. You too as well. <laughs> what, you never seen a gun on your face before? <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Hold up here, I gotta take a squat in the woods. You watch my back. Oh, I'll take a shit. I got a shit IRL. Ah! <laughs>
Alrighty. I don't think I would scare a c God damn it. Losing my tongue here. I think with that crap I took it'd scare away half the woods. Right here. This bridge. then it become bridge trolls the rest of our days. Well, until we get enough people pissed at us to go to law, we gotta move, but I like to see it right here. They don't see us coming. I'm bringing this other fella, Varric. Sat here for a while once. I got a few good people on the way through. Just we're taking a little pause. I can take a look at this rifle. Nice rifle. Looks a little dirty, maybe. It is. Needs to be cleaned up. That's not my problem. I think we have someone coming, potentially. Here we is. Stop right there, hey. feller. Stop right there. Slow down, fella. Slow down. This is the same fella from earlier. Is this the same fella? Yeah, tonight's certainly the night, isn't it? Hey. Oh, shit. Well, he just finished damn delivery. That means he has money now. Uh, I've just been to the bank in Valentine, but you are more than willing to search me. I think this time we will. Yeah, I'll double check. Go ahead and check him. Walter so was it? Looks like uh, June and her accomplice have beat you to the uh, to the chase. Well, they have pissing me off, and making my day real slow. Yeah, a bunch well, of self bitches. I don't mind telling you because they took my volcanic. They've been hanging around the oil fields today. Yeah, I heard. We're gonna go back there soon. See if they're still there. Literally, all I've got. I've replaced that volcanic with a cattleman. That's all I've got on me. What? Ah, uh, he's, he's only got ten dollars. I guess we'll take it for the trouble. I oh, got some bandages here. Uh, medical supplies like this could be uh, very oh, important. Sounds out here. coming through. Uh, they go a different direction. Walter was he right? You say what you want, guys. You're not gonna get any trouble from me. What was your, what was your name again? My name's Silas. Silas, do you ride if anyone? I don't know. I'm quite new to the crossing. To be did honest, you, I've only been here a week or so. Did you cook this fish yourself? I did, yeah. I've been finished up at Owen Gila. All right. I just want one piece. I want to give it a try. Wait, one piece for my friend, too. We want to try it. Yeah, you take what you need. You good cook? Oh, it's uh, tasty. It's, uh, it certainly does the job. All right, I left you with your pistol. Don't do anything stupid. I don't think you will. I'm just, I got to no. say it. I got to no, say no, it. It's no. like my Silas looks like a smart fella. Most no, men like to live. They have self-preservation. Most of them. I'm uh, going to get on my horse and get on my way. Yep. Get on, hey, get. Hey, fella, can you do us a favor? Certainly. Okay. Don't tell Law that we're here. Right? It'd be a lot of trouble uh, for us. We just got I here. I am not a snitch, so you go about your business and I'll go about mine. Well. Uh -huh. You know what? I like you. you. You keep making me like you. Next time, maybe I won't rob you. I'll just talk with you. That suits me just fine. Hopefully, the rest of your day goes well. Keep on riding. You keep on riding. Stay safe out there. Get on, get. Keep on riding. Let's get out of here. What I do is I threaten them. You go to law if you want. But if I find you next time, I'll drag you behind my horse is what I say. But you can say whatever you want to them. Can I try this man's fish? Not right now. Let's go back to the oil fields.
Goddamn pecker head. Shit. Go this way. Let's try to get the Mother Robinson one so we can just watch him, chuckle about it, and then talk to them. That's my plan. Right if your gun's out, just in case they try to make us a target. You never know what other outlaws might do. They are our friends. We ain't know who they is, what their intentions are. Right down there we got someone riding. Right Looks like a peckerhead, maybe. I bet these ladies are sitting and wait, maybe, waiting for someone to come on through. Look at the cliff sides. <laughs> Around here somewhere, I bet. From here to uh, Hamilton Ranch, I'm sure. Let's go to my favorite <coughs> lookout spot. If we're lucky, they might be in the house down below. I'll chuckle about that. Just keep your eyes peeled. They'd be anywhere right now. Watching us in any direction. Hell, yeah, they probably already seen us coming this way. If they's watching like we usually does. And keep an eye out for uh, law coming through as well. Number in force. As sure as hell, with the two of us out here being busy bodies, I'm sure as hell bet the law is already rallying together right now.
How much money you have on you so far? Hundred dollars ain't bad if you got that much so far from this. Sixty-seven. I'm at ninety. But I had a little bit of extra cash on me when I came out here. Well, you gotta consider it, right? It's rifle. Uh, delivery driver, this way. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Go on now, stop the wagon. Go on, stop the wagon. Right there, nice and good like. What's your name, feller? You got a name? Cowboy Joe Costas. Who do you ride with? John? Or just myself. Just yourself? Yeah. Delivering oranges is ya. Yeah, brand new this place, and I was told oranges is a good thing to deliver. Well, feller, there's a bit of a tax on this road right now. And I would like you to come on down. All right? Yeah, no problem. All right, John, you're a smart man. I ain't want your life. I just want your money, the things you has. Go ahead and face away. Put your hands up. Smart man. Go ahead and put your hands up. Uh, you gotta put your hands up. Uh, um, you know, flex that, you know, you muscle you have. I want to thank you. You're a good man. Look at you. Cooperating. You get out of this one piece, I know it. Just don't worry about that. I'm used to this coming from London. It happens all the fucking time. All right. Looks like I ain't got too much. We're going to take your pistol. We're going to take your money. Let you go on your way. You got delivery to do. Very kind. All right, John. If you go to law and I find out. And I see you get on my road, I'll drag you a half mile behind my horse. You understood? Oh, yeah, don't worry about that. Snitches get stitches, gentlemen. Exactly. Smart man. Get back on your smart wagon. man. Man, we're running to a lot of smart people out here. Last week, I had to shoot seven guys off their horses. I'm glad I didn't have to shoot you as well. Go on now, get. Catch you later, gentlemen. Safe travels. I took this kettleman to sell for cash since we have, they can be selling for about 20 bucks. Let me go to the last general store. Took his rival because I need one just in case. The shit rifle as well. Not a vomit rifle, it's a carbine repeater, but it's only seven shots. Not used to the standard 12 I'm used to. Now let's get up here. I got some money to split with you. That's uh, a couple robberies now, and I think I got about 20, 25 bucks for you. All right. Here you is. Let me get close up. Come on, Bucky. There you are. You got, uh, you got some uh, medical supplies with you? Suture needles and the like? I just got a bag I took from a feather and a couple bandages. Oh, uh, yeah. I got the same. Just making sure. All right. Try some of that fish. Nah, not too bad. Not too bad. You know, what I'm hoping for is those ladies who's uh, robbing the road. <laughs> they're going to stop that delivery driver as well. And now they're going to know we're on the road. Mm-hmm. They're like, going to come looking for us, and then we're going to have that meeting you want. Yeah, we're dancing with these ladies right now. They're out there somewhere. I am curious as up is up. Bleh. Man, my words sometimes. I am curious if... Us and them would get along. That's what I'm thinking as well. 
not an easy uh, engagement to get into with uh, other outlaws because they might try to think them smart and try to one-up us as well. Hey, I ain't going to shoot unless they shoot first since we wanted to talk and all. And we know their names already. Amber, and what was the other woman's name? Jude, I think. June. They June. might be fake names still, but Amber and June... If they've they'll known, know we're talking to us. That we're talking to them. I know, but if they fuck us over, I could talk to my contacts and make sure they ain't get no business from them, that's for sure. Right here, this house. Good place if you want to take a hostage. You that ladder goes down to a basement. Summer air is nice. By the way, if we're after a carriage and they decide to run, catch up to it, shoot the horses out first. Sometimes I give up right afterwards. If they start firing back, shoot them dead. All right, that's good to know. I've had a few carriages try to run, but they ain't that fast. Ain't the best spot right here. We're watching, but that's a good spot to watch deer. <laughs> Let's go on the hill over there and see if we can see the ladies. I bet you $10, those feathers we saw by the telegram station, those are the ladies. Probably chasing down two pecker heads. I wouldn't take that bet, you're probably right. I'd say with you getting that uh, repeater you got there, that's a real good haul so far. Got about a hundred bucks for each of us. Not bad. Yeah, but the only difficult part is uh, going to be selling to the guy without getting ourselves in trouble. No, I know a guy. I have a buyer who buys all kinds of guns. Hot guns, government guns. They don't give two shits. And they ain't legal themselves. Hey, but I got a question. Hmm. I promised this man that I'd be able to point him to his rifle. So if we sell it to your buyer, who's that fellow over there? Peckerhead? That's yeah, Peckerhead. My question for you is you didn't get his telegram, did you? 
It's on his rifle. It's on his rifle. Perfect. Well, you play that game with it then. See if he wants to buy it back. You do that. Yeah, and then I'll give you half. Well, not well, half. Should... That gun's yours. That was your. That was your first deal. The big one on your own. You keep that. All right. Well, it makes sense that you gotta go through the risk of uh, trying to sell it back, which is gonna be tough if you bring his friends. Mm hmm. That fella just dismounted. That's a fella. Where? Either way. Rich man. He's a rich man. Stop right there. Stop right there. Oh, same feller. Same feller. I see now. I see now. Go on, get. Yeah, go on. We already robbed you. You don't need to be rude about it. I mean, we don't need to be rude by robbing you twice. Is that what I mean? You ain't got nothing anyway. You're just wasting both our times. Oh, right. yeah. I'm a bit tired. Do you want coffee? I'll give you some coffee. Give me some coffee. Any law in town? No, it was pretty empty for a while, so... You being honest? How much for the coffee? How much cost you? A dollar? Oh, it's fine. Just have it. Nah, I like to pay for things. So you know that, uh... I can be honest sometimes, but I feel... The difference between you and me, I just take it. <laughs> Get out of here. I, I like you, Bentley Crooks. You're funny. <laughs> I know I am. You make things interesting. Well, it's right to the tracks. You can't see shit out here anyways. <laughs> and so these people surprise me. They get robbed out here, usually they go a different direction, but they come back on through the second yeah, time. Yeah, you know, I think some people kind of find the experience in society. You know, their days are boring. All they do is run these routes on and on and on and on. They must be losing their goddamn mind, and then we show up to give them a bit of entertainment. Oh, I bet. Or they're trying to get a better look at us. So that when they do go to the law, it says, okay, he was wearing this and that, and he had this kind of horse. I got a better look this time. Could be that as well. Maybe. There's credit in that. Well, you're doing real good. Hell. Oh. If I build this gang bigger and you want to stick around, I would be... Shit. What I was saying, Bentley, as I grow this gang, if you want to stick around, you got a spot in it. If you want. Way of the Road. That's the name of the gang. Yeah, I've been, when it comes to gangs, I've been shopping. I hanged out with the Little Gang, Whales Gang. I guess you would be wanting to start a gang. But to be honest... I know gangs are all about family, right? Mm-hmm. Truth is, I don't really... How should I put this? People explain the idea of family to me. I've seen people who really care about their family, like Wendy Wells and the Wells family and the little gang, but I never see the point of it all, you see. Listen to this. I got something to tell you. Yeah, it's like family is so. I come from this group called the Crooked Hand. And we was a bunch of goddamn peckerheads and tortured and robbed and killed people. We's not family. We's doing business. Some people like to call it family. I say fine. But you remind me of Chucky. Chucky was another young lad who ran with me. He ain't good with women. He ain't know how to talk too well. Well, he knew how to talk well, but he didn't have, what's the word? Charisma. Charisma. He liked to play his games. Very cruel they were. But he was loyal. And that's what matters. Loyalty. You don't got to be my brother. I don't got to be your daddy. Nothing like that. If we respect each other's business. We make money. We're both assets. That's the way I see it personally. Well, that's the way it already is, though. That's how it is. Mm -hmm. Well, how does, a gang, how does a gang change that? More organized. Bigger jobs. We know each other, so we know what to expect from each other. 
That's why people make gangs. Sometimes they make gangs because they want to have family because their daddy left them when they was a baby. And they's real sad about it. So they want to get a bunch of friends together and tell the, the, the cross and how pissed they is they had a rough beginning. I says, my house burned down with my paw mom and I ain't give two shits. I lived like this since I was a young lad, seven years old. Thirteen, picked up my first gun, killed a man. Started robbing. Do I look like I give two shits about my parents burning down in a goddamn fire? No, I don't. Because that's the past. And right now is now. That's how I see it. something I've experienced firsthand. You see, when I was with the Wells gang, just hanging out with them, not a part, and there was confrontation with James Kelly, they threw me under the wagon. And then, when I was with the, the little gang, and things got a bit tense with James Kelly, they threw me under the wagon. Now, me, James Kelly, we real cool. I think he likes me. Maybe not his fellows, but James Kelly himself, he liked my phone, he said I could publish it. Maybe we ride there to meet him together. Because fellers like James Kelly, one thing he knows, he can sniff out swiveling dogs. If James Kelly caught me for me trying something dumb like that, I said, yes, I did it. And I might do it again, some bitch. I ain't gonna throw ain't no point. Is that I always get myself in trouble with some big fellas. And when I get myself in trouble, I know exactly where I stand. I know exactly what to say to get myself out of trouble. I know where the line is, and I walk it real well. I'm like on a tightrope with these folks. Maybe one day I'll slip up and I'll get shot, but it hasn't happened yet. Well, the that's is, smart right there. I walk that tightrope, and the people around me, they get nervous. They start sweating. They're like, oh shit, James Kelly's gonna start shooting. Oh shit, we're scared. And they throw me under the wet. <laughs> I will never find a gang who will tolerate my sense of uh, thrill seeking. And that's just a fact. Well, maybe when you get to know me better and you see what the way of the road is, I ain't scared of James Kelly. If I got a shoot out of him, I'll take it. I ain't gonna throw some some bitch under a goddamn wagon. Yeah, it's easy to say now, but. Whenever they're facing James Kelly, Rudy, Remy, and they start piping up, people shrivel up. They get nervous. They get scared. Everyone thinks they're tough. You no know one what? knows they're tough. You know what those failures don't have? What don't they have? They don't have respect. That's true. They lack that. And they don't earn it because they scared little piss babies. I talked shit to James Kelly the first time I met him. I still talk shit to him if I see him again. And he respects that because I'm honest. I ain't a smart man, Bentley. I'm just a man who knows where he stands. But you will learn that. I ain't got to tell you. My actions will speak louder for themselves. Right around with me. You see what I am. I don't expect you to join right now. Not a month, maybe never. I don't give two shits. But if you want to ride with me, get some guns. Hell, I'll let you. All right, problem is when you're with a gang, and this is the crux of it, your actions reflect on the gang. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. No matter how bold you are, my actions will reflect on you. You ain't gonna like that because sometimes I act in very bold ways. You may not want to be associated with me on them bold days, even if you would back me up. <laughs> you might want to go, yeah, that's Bentley. Listen, I like Bentley, but he does what he does. He ain't in my gang. All right, you make of it what you will. Hey, here's the thing. If you do something on your own action, that's you. I know that. That's of anyone. That's ain't, that ain't throwing someone under the wagon. Now, if I, was, if I started going, yeah, yeah, it was him, it was him the whole time, trying to make me look lesser, now that's yeah. a problem. Exactly right. You got it. You understand it perfectly. That's mm -hmm. my point. But if I'm in a gang, it's different. If I'm in a gang, everything I do represents you. I saw that firsthand. When Remy had a problem with someone, the whole gang had a problem with the whales. It wasn't just, oh, it's Remy's beef. Let him handle it. It's the whole, the whole 
James Kelly gang showed up for a shootout. Well, then I rescind my invitation, you peckerhead. You ain't going to enjoy the... <laughs> 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 know what? We can be business associates. That's it. Yeah. Prefer it that way. You'll find some fellas, some, some, some real polite fellas who know their place, make you happy. But I'll never make you happy if I was in your gang. I'd make you frustrated. <laughs> My gang's always been real easy. We live on the road, live by the road. Hey, I hardly ever deal with other outlaws because they all rob banks and shit. And when I see them, I'm having a drink with them out. Which is out west. In fact, I want to go over there because I want to talk to James Kelly. It's been a long time. I considered him dead at one point because I ain't heard about him for a while. Because he's always in the damn paper. All right, if you want to go talk to him, that sounds good. I'll keep my mouth shut. I think he's not around right now, but I was thinking two hours or so I might head that way. But meanwhile, we got some ladies to take out on a dinner date, brunch <laughs> in. <laughs> See what they up to if they like good old puckerhead fella. Bald ass some bitch, that's me. I see two on a horse. Follow me. Where'd they get off to? No idea. Lost track. Here behind the hills. Right up high. Unlucky. Un goddamn lucky right there. Try to cut them off and then they seen us, so they went a different direction. I lost them on the other side of the hill because I couldn't see them no more. Down here. Right down there. Let's go. Go on, stop right there. Stop right there, feller. What's your name? What's my name? Oh, I know this, feller. What's your name? I think I know him. My name's Redlands. What's Redlands, get on out of here. Well, actually, let me talk to you first. I ain't going to rob you. This is so one. Who's this? This is uh, Ryder Whitlock or Clint. Oh, Ryder. Yeah, Clint. I met you before. Yes, you're down What's in Armadillo. I'm on? Oh, just out riding, making myself some money. <laughs> well, we just made ourselves a little money. You want a little piece of it? I would love a piece of it, yeah. Here, come here. I'll trade you some. Well, who are you riding with? Who's out today? Woohoohoo! I split this with my friend here. Thank you very much, Red Lance. I'll oh, see sorry, you back. No, 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 hold on. All right. Did you get it? I got it. Oh, okay, good. I thought I canceled it on you. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm riding with, uh, Fraser. We just did a little job in roads, so. Oh, I'll tell you something right now. There's some ladies out there I want to meet named Amber and June. And, uh, we kept robbing two guys one after another. They already been robbed by some other people out in my stomping grounds. Oh, gotcha. So you, uh, what's your real name, though? You said, uh, I met you as Clint. Ryder Whitlock. Ryder Whitlock. Oh, it's mm -hmm. nice to meet you. I'm Red Lance. Nice to meet you as well. Uh, tell Chucky I say hi next time I see you. He's a good kid. All right, brother. Y'all be safe. Yeah, you take care. Be happy hunting. Thanks for the money. Hey, take some of this. <laughs> yeah.
gave me 200. What are you being so generous for? That's that's half. Well, no, I mean, why is he being so generous? Because he likes money and they want to do business with money. That's a that's more money than we've made out here. What what are they doing? I think you just hit a bank in Rhodes. Shit, man. Fuck. You know, I hit a bank recently with the little gang. I still got to go talk to Sawyer to collect what uh, what's mine. You always try to get it right away if you can. If you run into people you ain't know too well. I hear lots of stories where you're the new fella you ride with, and they just cut you out of the deal because you're nobody. Yeah, well, that ain't the little gang because the little gang is a little uh, timid types. I see now they react around James Kelly, and they're a bit nervous around me too, so I had to figure that they wouldn't try anything like that. All right. Red Lance, I ain't seen him out this far in a while. I think what we should do. The law, let's think about this. We've been robbing the Heartlands all day. Another gang has. Rhodes is hit. We robbed some folks down by the river, by Blackwater. The law probably all over the place like a pissed off hornet's nest, unorganized. Where do you think the law would go after um, a big job? You think a bank robbery would they be painted to? Would be painted to a bunch of pecker heads who just got robbed out in the middle of nowhere? Maybe half of them ain't even report the damn crime. And they're probably, if you know, there's people doing more interesting things than what we're doing. That's probably what they're chasing right now. That guy just probably came back from a real big job, had the sheriff on his ass. Mm hmm. Is that pecker head? That's just a pecker head. Well, this has been a very profitable day. See, by myself, it was just me. I would have had $400 in my pocket. That gun you got, a bunch of things. So I'd say it's pretty profitable. Yeah, if I get a gang, I think that I, what I'll have the boys do is three and three. Three people uh, out east, three people a bit uh, south, over by maybe Blackwater-ish. And uh, rob on two sides of the uh, crossing so we ain't, you know, stealing each other's Pickings. That was a good idea, and here's why. Two people, perfect for this sort of work. Perfect. I would be willing to like take on a carriage of four with you. That's how confident I am. Likewise. Three people, real strong. Four, too much. Too much is split as well. Yeah, four, four is too much. So if you got five, you split two and three. That's a mm -hmm. good split. I agree. Another thing is, too, uh, if you run a real big group, that gets a lot of attention real fast. Real, real fast. They'll get off their asses for that. You watch that bridge over there. People go between here and roads, but we're a bit far away to chase. If we start chasing from here now, they might get the roads before we get to them. Let's go back to the uh, Emerald Ranch. Look over the hill. I've gone up to three people on my own once by myself. I've done that. Risky as hell. But um, if I had more people, you know who does caravans sometimes to keep themselves safe? Groups of five or six? Who? The miners do. The miners yeah, get together in big groups. And they uh, be carrying a lot of guns, a lot of material, more than we could even carry. <laughs> Let's get a look over right here. I'm thinking maybe for a bit. It's real slow right now. Things will pick up in an hour or two. Let's head to Armadillo for a bit. Have a few drinks. Celebrate the hard work we've done today. Oh, I hate Armadillo. Any other place but Armadillo. Here's why. Every time I'm in Armadillo, I run in with the same goddamn lawman. What do we got here? She, and, and she clever. She, she... Right.
one. Right. McNasty, I'm glad you're loving it, man. <laughs> yeah, I did post a short. I did post a short earlier while I was shitting. Take care of the assassins. Welcome, dead. You're done. McNasty, welcome back in. Uh, we just got chased down, I think either by Red Lance, which is fine if that was the case. If it wasn't, that was probably the law coming to figure out why uh, so many of us are riding. We've been robbing a lot in the heartlands, and the mom might be real riled up right now. We're just gonna lay low for a while.
We need to steal a horse. That's what we need to do. Damn it. Damn it. For my eyes to see. We're trying to get a horse to ride. <laughs>
Hell yeah. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. There you go. There we go. There we go. There we go. We got ourselves a horse. Oh, yeah. We're going to ride to the telegram station, send one to Bentley. It's been a lot of fun. All right, we got to get to uh, Telegram Station, some Telegram. How do you do? Uh, just fine. Mister?
All right, we found out where uh, Bentley Crooks is. He's over by uh, Blackwater. We go to Blackwater. We go to Bentley Crook and we head west. That was busy out there, so I'm gonna head west. Let's head out. Howdy. told him I'd meet him at the church, the burned down one, north of Armadillo, or south of Armadillo. All right, hopefully he's smart and goes there. I'll be out with it. I'll watch from a distance. I I'm, told him that uh, if I see him with anyone else, I'll split and run. Uh, how much are you charging him for the gun back? 275. 275, not bad. I got business out of the way anyways. One of those fellas were following us. I wasn't sure if there was Law, another outlaw gang. I thought one of them may have been Redlands, maybe they wanted to talk to us and we I got spooked too easily. If I see you no, outnumbered horses riding my way and I'm outnumbered, I ride. Yeah. I don't I don't take the chance of seeing who it is and saying lolly down. They can approach by themselves if uh, we're the ones who uh, are in the lower position. I, I ain't really fixing to risk it, it's a gamble. Exactly. When I want to speak up to a big group, and I got a big group, I just ride alone and go meet the leader. That's how I do it. I think that was the law, though. I think they were about, I saw a lot of white. That's what I saw, too. Big I think. Big white horse. It was the white horse like the last one that. But uh, the man riding it was white as well. He 
He had, oh. like, white clothing, white hat. Never mind. Yeah, that's law. That was definitely the law coming after us, and we got right on out of there. They're looking for all the outlaws out there, making the east a mess right now. Another reason why I'm riding a different horse. <laughs> See, they're looking for a golden Mustang right now. That's for sure. We should have been on top of that hill. They were a little too close there. They surprised me. Just that was on the rear, so I had to split. You hear me say ride? I wasn't sure if you heard it. Yeah, I heard it, and then I saw it, and I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> Ain't the first time it happened to me, but real hard to catch me. I'm a slippery son, bitch. Rode right for the trees. Got, got out of the line of sight. Rode for the trees right, right when I could. Hey, they tried to pin us probably for the outlaws who was doing other robberies out there. But they got us. But they didn't, and they ain't gonna. They ain't gonna. So what was that uh, genius saying about uh, the meeting? What did you say? What was that genius saying about the meeting? Uh, he just said that he was ready to, for me to let him know what pawn shop I left it at. And I told him, uh, I just sent him a telegram now saying, yeah, forget the pawn shop, I'll meet you uh, at the burned down church south of Armadillo with the rifle for 275, come along. Smart idea is we could ambush him on the road so that if he did plan a uh, setup there, maybe he's riding alone, but he might be riding the law. Yeah, I just wanna, I just wanna have a lot of distance. Look through my fancy binoculars. Now get a position where you can watch that ridge where everyone comes down at. I bet they take that one. Shit. Shit. This way. Is that him? No, it's just some pecker head wearing white. We ride next to him, they might think we's a bigger group. <laughs> Don't mind us, feller. We just keeping you safe. No safety in numbers and all that. Best part is if we all split off, they might stop him first. <laughs> And the fella shoots back and they got to deal with that. Brilliant. Smartest idea I ever done had. If it works, you be going down in history. <laughs> the smartest <laughs> outlaw, the cleverest son of a bitch who's ever lived. Take a look over here. You want to check it out to make sure he ain't there ahead of us yet. I just sent the telegram. There's no way he's ahead of us. You never know. He could have been out here already. No, is, no horse. Is that church right there? That one ain't burnt down, is it? Uh. Shit. I thought it was. Let's keep riding. <gasps> Burn down church.
I think there's a burnt down church that's close to it, actually, if I remember right. I think there there might be one. There really might be one. I think it's over here somewhere. No burn down one. I don't think so. Yo, watch out being here. This place is cursed. There's a burn down building right here. Yeah, there is. I gotta go send him another telegram to train the uh, facts. I'm gonna go to the telegram office. Should uh, put your money away in the bank first. Uh, I did roll the one. Actually, shit, I forget. I don't got. No word from him yet. If he takes too long, that means he's plotting. Yep. This place is always empty, but I guess we just take what we want and leave with what it costs. Well, you ain't seen that uh, busy yet. Sometimes this place is packed to the brim. He's even lucky yet. Hmm. I'm gonna head towards the um, fort. See if uh, any of Kelly's boys are around. Maybe I have a drink with them for a bit. All right. <clears throat> 
I'm gonna handle this uh, this little deal I have with that doctor. I can do it by myself. I should be fine. You, you watch him for a bit. Let him just sit there. Tell you someone's about ready to leave. Look around. Make sure no laws watching the region nearby. Making him wait a while is a good thing. Don't be too eager. All right. Thanks for the advice. Yep. Take care. Good luck at the fort. That was an excuse.
I think they just like to see who's coming to the fort. Howdy. Howdy. How about coming here and get myself out of the sun for a bit? Give me a moment. It's Blister and I here today. How you folks doing? Doing all right. The reason you're visiting the fort? A while back, a fella named James Kelly said, go meet him out west if I ever want to talk to him about something. He said, uh, hmm. he's at the fort here. All right. Mm -hmm. Talk about something in particular? He says, if you want to have a lot of fun out here in the crossing, he's the guy to come to. Fair. Mm-hmm. Well, this is James Kelly's fort. Unfortunately, he's not awake right now. You folks ride with him, or are you uh, just friends? I'm the only one here that rides with him. All right. I don't know if you seen me the other day come to the hill. Four of your boys were going down as I was coming up. We chatted for a bit. I forget the names, unfortunately. But uh, mm. we had a good little conversation. Apparently, this feather Bentley I was riding with had got into a bit of trouble with you and uh, some other gang or something like that. Is that true? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, he was telling me about that. He's, uh, I guess he's fresh off the train from some other state. Mm -hmm. Trying to figure out where he fits. And I told him, if you're robbing out west, you're about to find yourself an early grave. And you ain't no people, so you don't know what's right and wrong yet for what he's done. Yeah. I like Bentley well enough. I told them, just be honest. And as far as I can tell, I think he was. Honesty and respect goes a long way. Mm -hmm. If you're doing the kind of business out here that people does, and you ain't honest, he's a snake, he's a snitch, well, he's good as well, dead man. True words. What's your name, fella? My name is Cass. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Ryder. All right, Ryder. Well, you've been invited by James, so you're welcome here. If you remember, it was a long time ago, and one of your other gang members, he was wearing purple. He really? said his name real fast and fancy-like and a bunch of titles and stuff. He said, come <laughs> on by as well, but that's why I took up the offer. Last time I talked to Kelly, I was standing out by uh, Valentine waiting for a job to start with my old employer, and he was saying how he's in the newspaper and how famous he is and things like that, and then I raised it the best I could. I didn't read too well. I said, well, hell, if I ever found time, I'll come out this way. Well, all right, all right. Glad you came out west. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, came out on a real goddamn scorcher, that's for sure. Hmm. Yeah. That is the season we're in. Mm. I, I've heard much about the Kelly gang in a while. What you folks been up to these days? Quite a bit. Quite a bit. Have you two, uh... Check the newspaper again. I need to. I, apparently, I'm in it as well. Not by name, oh. but by reputation. From what I, I heard. See. You hear about how the Heartland's been having a problem with highway bandits? Mm-hmm. That's me. Hmm. Well, we contributed to that a little. A lot of people so do. Guess, uh, yeah. But I'm, mm -hmm. I think I robbed 42 people out there so far. <laughs> and counting. I'm counting up. Sometimes one yeah. after another. It's great. It's good money out there. Yeah, fair. Cold drivers, delivery drivers for oranges. I'm all bunch of them going back and forth all the time. I do it maybe any hour of the day I can. I'll try early hours in the mornings to see who's out there, thinking they're being safe. I try late at night, during the day. You all kinds of different people out there on the road. Some think they're doing a better job early in the morning because they ain't got to worry about people like us. Mm -hmm. So they ride nice and free lock, but during the evening they're riding a caravan. Puckerheads. I'm hearing what you're saying. One man is hard to rob five. <laughs> ain't impossible, but hard as hell. 
Yeah, I can understand that. Mm. Well, listen. The kind of fun James is talking about nowadays. We're very invested in moonshine gems. So if you got any work leading to that, yeah, I'm sure he'll uh, look forward to what you have to say. I don't do no mining. And I get moonshine sometimes. I ask people who they ride with first before I rob them. Because I ain't trying to shit on your front porch. Hmm. You know, it's Fair. one thing when the law's chasing me. It's one thing when outlaws is also chasing me as well. Makes my job real hard. But there's a bunch of moonshiners out there who ain't nobody. I'll tell you what. I'll take their moonshine off of them. I've done it before. <laughs> I give it to you boys, gals. How does that sound? Well, sounds good to me. However, if you want to talk to James about it beforehand, go right ahead. I think it'd be a good idea if he's the head honcho out here. Mm-hmm. That sounds good about me. I also have some other jobs you can tell me about, but I don't see him until later. Uh, I don't mind going to prison as long as I'm paid well enough. If you have somebody in there who needs to get fucked up, I does that as well. I walk right up Fair. to a sheriff's office and try to kill one of the sound bitches just to get in. <laughs> I ain't mind robbing the law either. The thing is, I hardly ever go into town. I live out on the road underneath the beautiful stars in the sky. Rain and snow, I ain't give two shits. Every time you see me in town is when my pockets is too full. I gotta do business. I hear you. You'll mm. find most people prefer the roads. Towns and townies, meh. Yeah, well, they gotta travel between towns. That's for sure. Mm-hmm. And that's where we like them. <laughs> yes, Anyhow. <laughs> I gotta get back. But like I said, you were invited by James. You're welcome here. I'm arrested, man. I had a long run today. Long was caught me. Almost. Again. <laughs> See, <laughs> when they ride them big groups like that, you hear them coming a mile away. And you just dart off into the trees and they ain't find you. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you right now, if you go in the heartlands, it's buzzing. Not only myself, but another uh, gang, I believe, was uh, two ladies robbing folks out there. I know because uh, the folks I robbed right afterwards already been robbed. <laughs> Oh, really? Were you looking for those two ladies? I was thinking about talking to them, saying about hello, what? seeing if they wanted to ride together and make it easier to get, you know, bigger groups if they ride in numbers. Oh, that'd be me. And I was guessing it was you two ladies once you grinned. I'm uh, James Kelly's niece, and uh, Jude over there is with me. Nice to meet you, Miss June and Amber, right? No, I'm, I'm June, like the month, and she's Judith. Judith, June and Judith. One of them gave me the name Amber or something, but whatever. Huh. Well, you made it fun for me because I still took off the 10 bucks the guy I had afterwards. <laughs> mm -hmm. I live out on the road, so $10 and a couple of cans of beans, I'll take it. Yeah. Poor fellow was real spooked. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they, uh, it was real sad when they come across me again. So I just got robbed earlier. I said, I don't know that. You could be lying to me. I want to see what's in your pocket still. I was like, hell you was, you son of a bitch. He was saying there was two of you. Where's the other one? Oh, he's off doing another job right now. He's extorting some fella for money. Stole a fancy gun worth a lot. The guy wants it back. So he's going to try to get $275 out of him. But yeah. uh, I told him the law shows up. Keep your eyes peeled. Tell them to meet in a spot where you can look at ridges. Make them wait a bit. Because sometimes they get impatient. If you make them wait a bit, mm -hmm. the law might slip up and come talk to them to see if he's okay or something. Give away their position. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. Well, then you already know the law is humming down there right now, right on all over the heartland, trying to figure out where the hell these assholes uh, is. I actually didn't see, we didn't see any law. No, nope, not a single mm -hmm. one. Mm -mm. How long would you leave? Ten minutes ago. Oh shit! You got lucky then, cause they came right over the hill at me, wearing white, white <laughs> hats. I assume they was law, cause the, yeah, yeah, they came right towards us, being lined. So we rode yeah. into the woods. They might be looking at by roads right now. I heard roads also got hit by a bank robbery, not too long ago, by Red Lance. Mm -hmm. and, well, I don't oh. know. If, I don't know if it's a bank robbery. They said they did a job in roads. I assume it's a bank robbery. Interesting. Mm hmm What, you? You folks like to drink? Nope. Well. Can at the moment, unfortunately. I understand. 
I'll get all your folks here soon. Then I'm going to wait until the mm. sun goes down. What was down. your name, though? I didn't catch it. Ryder Whitlock. Ryder Whitlock. Ryder. All right, do you mm. want my telegram? Might as well take it. It's a good idea. If you ever I also do um, medical. So if you ever need medical and you're out west, I'll give you medical attention. Well, I wish I'd known you sooner because yeah. I've gone through some shootouts that I lost. That mm. happens. Tiny Elephant 387. T-E-387. And how do you spell your name? June, like the month. J-U-N-E. Gotcha. And um, if you want to take Judith's and telegram her as well so she can have you on her contacts as well. All right, I'm ready. B-E-804. She's the big elephant. <laughs> I'm talking about Wow. Just, wow, that's perfect. There you go. <laughs> I'll give you mine as well if you want them right now, unless you just have me send you a telegram. So. Absolutely. Just I'll remember. Leave your, yes. All right. Lost Dog 167. Lost Dog 167. LD. Yeah. Got it. Well, it's raining now. I guess it's a good time to head out as ever. If you folks want to find me, I'll be plastered drunk over at the saloon in Armadillo. All right. Should we tell him about the, uh, there's still sickness thing going on? Uh, it was poisoned recently, but I'm sure if they import the alcohol, it's fine. Oh, I, I'll, okay. the alcohol was poisoned? Drink the water. No, 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 the water, the water and some of the food sources were yeah, poisoned. Oh, I've seen the, that. Yeah, so the alcohol should be fine if it's not, like, distilled here. In fact, that reminds me, a large group of folks just rode into, uh, Armadillo as I was leaving. They might be law, ain't sure. Yeah, well. Mm. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. You not be long. Be your horse, some bitch. Yours get off to. God damn it. I was trying to get a horse, because I left my another town. Back to the road again. Here we is. 
Those dragons getting up and walking. Yeah. Got energy back up, that's good. But that rock there was like a tortoise or something. How's everyone doing in chat, guys? Is that a nice little meeting with uh, Kelly's gang? Damn horse is running still. I need the horse. Goddamn pecker head. Still going. Jesus. How far is this dumb bitch going? How far is this dumb bitch going? Just right in here. God damn it. Shit. I'm gone. We gotta get out of here now. There might be a cougar around here, I'm not sure.
<laughs> hey, my horse. Got some navies. I'm always curious who's gonna be riding in the town now, so I think what I'm gonna do gotta sit near the entrance. See so you rise through. Not a bad spot to sit. Not a bad spot to sit whatsoever. 
Uh, he never showed, never got a telegram. Figures. Uh, give me a moment here. That makes it my rifle. It does. Let me get a stretch here one second. Give me, give me a moment. Mm hmm. Oh, there he is. We ready now. Where do I put that horse at that head? I found out who uh, was dropping out there. Oh, who was it? Kelly's gang. Oh, Her friends how'd of. How'd they do? Are they pretty good? They're up at the fort right now. They just got back there 10 minutes ago. Well, 15, 20 now. How'd that conversation go? Well, well they enjoyed my personality. I, I figured tell. they would. You get along good with them. They're a rowdy bunch. You're a rowdy bunch. Makes sense. Well, hell, I wouldn't mind riding with them if they let me. I didn't mind time. Once you got a name for yourself. Thing is, they don't like me much. Well, Kelly likes me. Finds me interesting. But the rest of them, uh, I talk too long around them. They get annoyed. They don't like the way I talk. I'm too uh, literist, I think, for them. Uh -huh. They think I'm always being, they think I'm always talking down to them when I ain't. Huh. I think you just talk a lot, is all. Maybe. And while I do like to bump into James Kelly, just to get some more inspiration for my riding. If I bump into his boys too often, it's going to be bad for my health eventually. If you're on the wrong side, is yeah. Yeah, well... I can tell you for sure Remy doesn't like me. Well, that's unfortunate. The rest of them don't mind me, and Kelly is not bothered with me at all. But if Remy's got a problem with me or decides one day that he has a problem with me, then the entire Kelly gang has a problem with me. Sure does. So until that day comes, we're just going to be all polite-like with them. It might come, might never does. You'll know when it's coming is when you know who he's riding with. There are other gangs as famous as Kelly that I'm looking to meet. Who's they, bastards? I don't know any names specifically. I'm just, I'm speaking in general. I've heard of, I mean, you mentioned, uh, DiCenzo. They're more like a, they're like a gang. They operate out of St. Denis, but he's a big family, lives in that fancy house there. 
Or maybe not that, but... They're more like a crime... As I understand, they're more of a crime family, if anything else. Ah, I see the difference. Yeah, they had those back where I was from. Those don't fascinate me as much. There's a Jack Kettleman gang. I heard he's got a wild reputation that might leave you dead. Yeah, more of folk like that. I'm looking to speak to to find some writing inspiration. And there's Moon Frazier and his boys. You met Red Lance today. Mm-hmm. Them folks are beneath Kelly, though. If there was a pecking order. Once you've seen the top of the pyramid, ah, the little stones beneath don't really, uh... Still like to meet him, though. It's all right. I know I'm just a little stone to you, buddy. <laughs> I'm talking about each. You ain't even high. I know you, you're a dreamer boy. You want to be on top. You want to be renowned. You want to have a reputation for the meanest gunslinger in the West. I get you. But right now, you're climbing that mountain. Me, I don't give two shits. I'm happy right where I am. Yeah, it's a strange dichotomy. In order to be at the top of the pyramid, to be a legend, to be a myth, you gotta get your name out. But why would any outlaw want to get his name out? That just brings the law on him, and that's more trouble than it's worth. Makes it hard to fake a name, and makes it hard to bluff your way out of situations. Hell. There's another gang that I believe might be Kelly's level, if not bigger. It's uh, Dead End Kids, I think it's called. Or was. The Wallaby Kid. Year of him. Uh, first time hearing of them now. Apparently they're very notorious. I ain't know what they all get up to too much, but uh, Chucky was trying to join them at one point. He didn't make the cut. But from when he told me, they're real, real. Rowdy to the point where I believe the law, instead of trying to arrest them, just tries to shoot them down. That's how bad it is for them. Or good if they like that kind of thing. Or something. I honestly don't know what they've done. I ain't paid much attention to them. They're probably in the paper, but I ain't read the paper. I got a name now. I can ask around. It's a star. I hear they're very selective who they, who they uh, ride with. I'm much too old for that gang. Apparently, they're a bunch of teenagers. Uh, I don't need to ride with them. I just need to hear them talk for a bit, wax on, hear some stories. That's often a good start to getting some of inspiration. I don't think I've met any of them yet myself, so I don't know what they're like. Been on the way out of the west, you're gonna see somebody out in the fields or up by a strawberry. I don't start robbing until I'm about past the river. Out here. If anything, there might be some stranger out there. That's a, I might become a legend. Not by name, but by name given. Nickname. For the amount of people I rob out on that road, and I've been working hard at it for a long time now, I figure there's going to be some kind of story about me being some kind of son of bitch eats children. <laughs> I 
That's what I figure. See that? They're all over the place back there. I think I'm getting myself a bit of a headache right now. What about you? Delivery drivers you see out this way, I think, is um, lumber delivery and uh, milk drivers. Most folks don't do milk deliveries these days because of how dangerous the West is. You gotta go all the way out there. These landings out to the right, I believe that's where the bastards roam. They ain't legendary no more. They used to be. I'd say they rivaled James Kelly back in the day, but not anymore. Not after Sam Bass has died. He's the one who, uh, and his boys, but he's the one who led the operations, the jobs, from what I understand. He's the one who stole a military machine gun. You know those big guns they ride on the back of uh, wagons? They bring uh. out to take out Indians. Not familiar, no. It's a big gun on the back of a wagon. They brought one of those out. Sam Bass managed to steal that. Not only was it guarded by 13 uh, lawmen, because they really were wanted, because they had murdered a, 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 a marshal, I believe, in a gunfight. And that pisses off the law real bad when you kill a marshal. They piss when you kill a deputy or a sheriff. They get pissed when you kill a sheriff, for sure. But when you kill the marshal... Ooh. It's like they send the military and everything they have at you at that point. But, uh, his sons and his kin, they too hot-headed. They ain't think too well. They just does. From what I understand, that makes them end up in Sisica way too much. Times changed, though. I missed the West back then. Law too scared to show up West, and when they did, they got shot at. Good old times. The way it should be. There's somebody up ahead. Uh, it was just a pecker head. I have an idea. I bet we ride out towards the water this way. Run along the beach. There might be some more fellers fishing again. I reckon. I guess we follow the river. Once we get down to it. That big lake you was talking about earlier, about someone was talking about a lake they were fishing from. The guy who gave us fish that we ate. 
lot of people like to be fishing there too, but there's big ass bears all around that place. Dangerous. Right through here. Never seen a bear that big before. It's like the size of two or three bears. All right, come on, Bucky. Down this way. Good horse. Sometimes you find folks fishing down this canyon way. I believe uh, there'd be spots for gold painting as well down here if I remember right. We're going to want to cross here. Watch that same doctor fella. Watch him be fishing then. That would be funny. Did I didn't think it was that deep. Did I? Neither did I. Oh, I bet if we figure out where all the best fishing spots is, where every single mine is, we can start watching them better. I know where most of them is. I haven't taken the time to uh, look at where the other ones is. The downside of this area right here is a lot right through here very often. I've had three robberies down in this canyon interrupted by the law. Had the ride off. That guy up ahead? Might be a peckerhead. Hey, Cupid, welcome in. Let's get up in some trees over here. I gotta take a piss break.
I suck to the whip. guys I had to go use the restroom I've been streaming for a pretty long time three hours so far Sheesh. all right got a blankie keep me warm all righty. Three fellas, you want to rob them? Yeah. This way, this way. Three of them. Two on one horse. Good odds. They're getting real close to town. We might want to break off. They're real close now. They get there within right, the, right. in this chase. Yeah, once they get about right here, it's about a minute until they're in that town there where the law is. She, I took a piss for too long. All right, we'll go find someone then. I can wonder who they were. They were in law of black. Some outlaws like to wear a law of black.
There's law by now. If they're still looking for us, they're probably off somewhere else now. I highly doubt that they'll be in the same area for too long. Is his horse. I thought I was hearing the sound of six for a second there. I just wanted to make sure I was sure about that. There's some lakes we'll check out later uh, during the morning, right in the morning, because uh, bears and wolves are around them. But one of the lakes they fish at is over past Strawberry in the tall trees. I think we go out that way, we'll get lucky and find something. And again, sometimes people fish in large groups as well. God damn animals. Let's go to that bigger hill.
Yo, I have this idea. A good one, right? Thanks, make it your friends at some point. You now know people, right? We start a carriage transport job, you know? Some of us pretend to be the drivers, pretend they get robbed and things like that. And then they have a certain route they take. They get as many people on that wagon as possible. They ride out onto the road, go through a spot that we've ambushed. And we get a lot of goddamn money that way, that's for sure. And every time we hit that spot, we change to a new location, a new route, and we'll figure out routes between all of us. And we could uh, run a failing business where all the all the people who get, take the you know take up the ride lose their things every time. <laughs> as genius that is. I like oh, it. I love that idea. It's a good one. I think that's a good way to make money. It gets them coming to us more. But that's that's one of those jobs where you have six people. If we're not riding around like this, we're just trying to get a carriage as filled as many people as possible. Might try that in the future when I get more organized. I like that. We need to find a real likable fella to do all the, uh... Oh, there's a fella. I don't know. Goddamn pecker heads. They always look like they got something on them. And then you get to take a closer look. You got nothing. Oh, man. Check this other hill. It's really easy to know when someone has something because they have a box in the back of the damn horse. I just come up with them on the, on the, on the fly, really. Keeping tails. Sometimes I Google like name combinations. Follow me. Cliff right here, I forget. He was right over here, I seen him. Bizarre sale. Stop right there. Stop right there now. Don't try nothing. Don't draw that gun. What's your name, feller? Oh, you run off. Uh, you run off. Who do you run off again? I recognize you. Yeah, I recognize. You me long time ago. You remember? Yeah, I remember. remember down by the orange orchard. <laughs> yeah. so I met the Taipan now, and they uh, do business with me, so we ain't going to be robbing you. Oh, I appreciate it very much. In but, fact, um, I might have a little bit of news for you. All right. Uh, are you guys pretty active? Mm-hmm. Um, well, the first bit of news is that um, uh, I am no longer with uh, Taipan. 
I, uh, me and uh, several others have branched out and we're doing our own thing. Similar but different. Of course, we will take any guns that you might have to sell. Dirty, very dirty, clean, whatever it is. Uh, do you... Huh, that's fucking lucky of me because I got a gun on me I want to sell right now. Do you really? Yeah, do you mm -hmm. want to look at it? You sure? What kind of gun is it? Well, you tell me. I don't know guns that well. I think it's a... Would you say it was? It's a Litchfield. Litchfield. Oh, Litchfield. Okay. You hold that in your hand. Tell me... One second. I'm going to get this other guy who's running away. Nah, he's too foggy. Hey, too foggy. I can't, I can't see him now. Damn it. Pardon, pardon. It's fine. This won't get kicked by my horse. He's a very strong hind leg. There was guys. There was one guy watching on the road there, but he turned around. Okay. Ah! ah I, did I knew it. I knew it. Damn it, Wuguan. That is a bad lucky. Are you okay? Oh, I am. Oh. So, Ko, uh, you, you uh, bad ties now to others? We split apart, or are you all no, friends it's not, still? No, it's not bad, I guess. Uh, we have no issues with them. They should not have issues with us, but the very differences in opinion on how we should do business, you see. Oh, I understand that. Okay, so this one is not really dirty. I mean, it's dirty, but it's not very dirty. Uh, uh, destructo. Okay, I'll tell you what. Uh, let me give it back to you first. Um... I will take it off your hands. Uh, for the dirty ones, usually uh, we pay half. This one has some work done to it, and it's not as dirty as we can get. How does uh, 280 sound? 280 sounds good with me. <clears throat> okay. Do you guys want to wait here? I'll go back to Valentine, get the money, and come back here. Maybe. We'll, uh, uh, we can go to Valentine with you. Oh, you I could okay. deposit it in the bank anyways. Well, okay. Just... All right. Yep. You, go, you go with him. I can't go into town. I'm too wanted. Okay, all right. I'll go with him then. Yeah, oh. I'll meet you back. When you get back, okay. I want to, I'll wait over here. You get get back here. I want to talk to you anyways. I got some questions, yeah, some right. things I want to talk about. Uh, we'll, we'll make it quick. All right. I'll be up in these trees. Up in these trees. I can't go to town, I'm wanted. Lose my voice there for a second. Watch the tracks from up here. Bush. Let's go up to this one right here. Yeah, whatever. Oh, it's nice. This one would actually be a better one to hide in.
Oh, I am cold right now, guys. Jeez, <laughs> it's freezing in this house. I'll tell you what. It's got electricity everywhere. That was interesting. He was right off his gun out like he was ready for something. Wonder who he was. I wonder where they went. Back to that side of the hill. They was waiting for us. I blend in so well. They ain't even see me when they ride by.
question is, where are these some bitches at? Get lucky soon. That's what I'm hoping for is to get lucky. I also have a better rifle, better guns. That's what I'm looking for right now. We'll get them soon. We'll get them real soon. Where's Co? Where's Co? We did the deal, but then he got caught up by some other fella. Was it two people on a row? Two people? It Blue? It was one fella, a business partner of his. Oh, I see. What do you want to talk to him about? I have his telegram. I'll talk to him about it later. Just more questions about his business and things like that. The thing is, someone was uh, scouting this area out while I was in the bush. They didn't see me. A couple was riding around, blue shirt, maybe a woman with white tan shirt or dress. They were riding around like they were looking for something, a gun out. Just two of them. They went yonder that way about seven minutes ago, eight minutes ago. You think they're after you? Bounty hunters, law? Hard to say. Maybe they're other outlaws. I think we keep riding, trying to see what else we can get. I feel like once I got myself some nicer guns that I want to keep for my personal use, I'll be satisfied. I already have a Navy revolver put away, and I have, uh, I just need a better rifle. That's all I need now. What do you think is the better rifle? A uh, better pistol? Schofield or the Navy? Navy slower, but hits harder. Schofield is slow, uh, shoots faster, but slightly weaker. And the double action shoots hella fast. Real fast. It's ridiculous how fast that thing shoots. Does it hurt a lot? I'm not sure I ain't have to shoot anybody with a double action yet. Are there like a bunch of different types of double action models or is there just one? There's one right now. I mean, well, Taipan has their own and the gun store says their own. They're all very similar, I'd say. I know plenty of folk like to follow this track here.
I'm just thinking, where do we go next? The law's bound to come through here now is a little later. I'm trying to think. I like this area a lot. You see them coming I like this area from. A lot too. It's just after a while people tell each other they've been robbed here a bunch and they go a different direction. So I'm thinking we ride through these woods here on the roads. Might get lucky and find something. I would suggest going to check out the mines, but the truth is we're going to get attacked by a giant grizzly bear. It's going to rip me apart, eat my innards. That's how that is going to end. Well, we're going to walk in there, rob the first guy we see, but don't realize there's seven people deep inside the mine that come out and point their guns at us. <laughs> One or the other. But you know what? I think it might be worth it. Because I had this idea of setting up like a... A mine racket where anyone wants to go mining, they gotta pay me like tariff, or else I'm gonna rob them. A hard bard's enforcing that because after a while they run away or they get together in a group. But you can try it, let me know how that works. If it works out well, I'll join you in that. If you need a hand. I mentioned this. I originally had that idea for out west, but James Kelly shut it down. He doesn't want me doing that out west. He said do it out east, though. It's, he didn't care. But I can be real persistent, you know what I mean? So even if they run in four, they might be like, fuck it, I don't want to be bothered by Bentley for the sixth time today. I'll just give him his money. There you go. Hey, fuck it. If they refuse to pay my tariff, and I catch him again and again, give him some beating. The second time you make a point. You make oh, that you point don't, you don't real no money well. This time? That's fine. I didn't want any money. This is, this is about fun. The fun of it. You dig a man's shoes, and you make him walk a mile in thorns, change your mind real quick. That's for sure. I think some of these back roads right here is what delivery drivers take. There's just a uh, nobody right there. I don't live about robbing at night. Folks running around with lanterns on their damn horse. If that was some bitch. The smarty fella. Lowing as the sun right there on the beach. Seems like people get robbed, but not often enough that they're always on their guard. Well, these days, most people are robbing banks and trains or vents. Yeah, I think it's getting more common to get robbed on the road again, but for a while there, it wasn't. I think I've robbed several deputies so far as well, riding between the uh, stations. Now, this is especially the items we can sell at Frank. If we get them. Only you get them from law. And he wants them. Real bad. Wait, if I get them from lawmen, he wants them real bad? Handcuffs, investigation equipment they have, clipboards of information upon them, things like that. 
Relax to get his hands on them. Early there for a bit. I was real busy out there in the heartlands. <laughs> I don't think we scared all of them some bitches off different directions. Uh, they probably spoke to their union friends. The milk boys have a union. I know some feather was trying to union guys, and the same thing they used to tell me about it. I think it was uh, what's it called? Boys who work over at that uh, general store. Little Tony's. Place that gets a lot of traffic is over by Blackwater and Strawberry. On the downside of that bullshit right there is the law. Like I said again, I repeat this like a goddamn whatever it is. But uh, they ride through there so often and force it's you get caught off a, unaware in the canyon. They come around the corner, next thing you know, you got six linemen on you. As we ride through, it's gonna get lucky and see someone. Gotta figure out where everyone is. This all day long.
Glittery. Oh, I see one. Right back here. Come on, stop right there. Come on now, right there. What's your name, feller? Clear. Speak up again. My name is Andrew Miller. I'm with Taipan. You with Taipan? All right, get yes, on sir. going. Is Copperhead around? Uh, he hasn't come in yet. I All saw right. him around yesterday. So probably around 6 o'clock, maybe. All right, get on going. All right. Fellas, be safe oh, out on, here. Fella, I got one question. Yeah. I ain't going to take a dime off of you, as you know. We ain't robbing you, but I do have a curious question. Sure. How much money do you have on you? Three dollars. Okay. <laughs> you have a good day, sir. Yeah, you as well. Huh. Curious. I don't... Tide Pan is where I get all my gems from. They have a lot of them. They have... Uh, I can buy 20, gem, uh, 20 diamonds, cut diamonds at once from them. They got a lot of them. That's how I keep my money out of the bank. I'm just curious if... Uh... I was curious if the fact that he's with Tai Pan made him more comfortable to bring more money. But it seems that's not the case. He only had $3. Tai Pan people are kind of smart. They try to, when they do the deliveries, they try to make sure they don't got too much on them. Tai Pan, at least. Not if, a, if, not this man, if this man is Tai Pan, Tai Pan are big show hogs, how come he's doing deliveries of coal? Like, why is he doing the dirty job? They, uh,. Part of their company runs the mine in Annisburg, where they get all the cut, where they get all their gems from, right? Mm -hmm. And then they turn that money and extra coal, they deliver it, and that extra money you get from gems, they take it back to their uh, jewelers in Saint Denis and they cut them. They have two business things: mining, gems, and guns. They run the gun store in uh, Saint Denis. They got a big operation. They're very organized. And I've heard some stories about the violence that's gone on in the background. A lot of those boys have spent some time in Sisica. Yeah, I'd... they're real polite. I can tell from the guy who bought my rifle. Real polite fellow, but there's a dangerous side to them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I robbed Co once. And I said, you should tie a pan. Well, I'm about to do business with them, so I ain't going to rob you. He says, I tell you what, I'll give you all the money I have in my pockets anyways. So I took it. Now, I was wondering if he was going to use that as an excuse later saying I did rob him or not, but uh, I think he was showing good faith at this point. So you make up that yeah, they, figure we can be, they probably figured that if they, uh, just like we don't want to fuck with them, they probably figure people like us are real persistent and got not much to lose, so they wouldn't want to cross us either. If they cut me out of it, I'll ride their store and I'll kidnap their employees every other day. Now, that feller, he probably does most of the labor for them. He probably, uh, what we got here? We got a wagon coming out this way. Yeah, you want to get it? Let's get it. Right over here, up the hill. Go ahead, stop right there. What's your name? This is a different one. This ain't the wood wagon. It's a different wagon. Mm -hmm. What's your name? I think we may start her. She ain't speaking up. Miss? I can't hear a word out of her mouth. Yeah, she ain't saying much. Yeah, she'll figure it out. I think she's startled by us. She looks shocked. It happens. Right. Sometimes fellas get real, real shocked if they see us. What do you mean to startle you, lady? 
Alright. Shit, that woodworker is real lucky that we popped in this one. Miss? Gotta speak up. Miss? Still can't hear a word out of her. Delaney. Can you hear us, girl? Can you, uh... No, not if you can hear us. Yeah, she can hear us just fine. Oh, okay. She's just having... Maybe she's having, like, a real sore throat or something. I think I scared the living shit out of her coming up here. Miss. All right. Go ahead and handle this one. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Miss, can you raise your hands above your head, please? We just gotta face your wagon. Ah, uh, much appreciated. Love, love when people go along to get along. Take that bow as well. I need that for somebody I owe them. You're gonna have to help me out here. Oh, you gotta... You wanna just give me all your money? I don't know how much you got. That's it? 74 cents? Work, work with me here. Work with me. I'd say this is the most unusual circumstance I've run into today, partner. She's very confused. I think she's been. Uh... Having some of that. Mallard was you one I've been hearing about? Mm. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get much uh, more out of her, to be honest. She's <clears throat> best in her on her way to find someone else. All right, go on, get woman. Right on out of go here. On, woman, and you figure yourself out, all right? That bow she has. Is. I'm gonna give that to the fella I know who I owe, and he needs one. Usually I wouldn't take a bow like that's worth nothing. Usually. Fancy bow, though. <laughs> Where are we heading? I don't know yet. Hey, since she ain't much of a talker, she ain't gonna be telling no law. <laughs> she ain't gonna be telling them. Well, she might write it down on that piece of paper she had there. You know what? I gotta hit the St. Denis for a bit. Let's go our let's go our separate ways for a minute. I got a lot of business out St. Denis way. You can come along if you want to, but I'm gonna head over there try to talk to Taipan. Well, you know that um, that fellow who took my ruby. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he says it's ready, so I might as well come with you. All right. 
Get out of this guy's here. Mm. What's his name again? Uh, Frank. Jack? Frank. Frank. Yep. Uh, he's around. That's good. Get some drinks and relax a bit. We've been out on the road all day, and I have a Litchfield to get back from Copperhead, who works for the Taipan. You see, the first time I robbed Mr. Copperhead, he didn't say who he ride with. He said he ride of nobody. Well, he didn't say he rode of Taipan, as in for Taipan. So I robbed him without knowing it, but that's his fault. See, I stole a bow to him that was very important, much like this one, but it had sentimental value to it. This one won't be as valuable to him, but it's the start to uh, making it up. He says, well, I meet him in, uh, what's it called? Saint the name. When I does, I give him my gun back. What happened is I had them gunpoint, and I was robbing them. Then a goddamn fella showed up, one of the locals, pulled a shotgun out and shot me off my horse. And then the uh, whole thing turned around. Bullshit, I say. <laughs> Just how it is sometimes. It's how it goes. Not a bad idea every so often to give the roads time to clear up the law run around like pecker heads thinking that he's gonna find us when we just out relaxing. Usually I'll sit by a tent for a bit, spin my gun and look out the view. But I at least got you for company so I could talk to somebody instead of just making my own thoughts in my own head. Uh, some across dry year. Yeah, there'd be gators, but they usually don't mess with you. You see the big sun bitch to the right? Big, big old lizard. I thought I saw a gator in the water and it spooked me. Might have been a big catfish, but the size of gator. Right to right here. You can follow me if you want. I've gone ballsy. Oh, this is disgusting. <clears throat> Ain't pretty, is. here. These uh, thicker trees, good place to hide in the law. <coughs> I 
Have you ever worried about the loss in your ride into St. Denis? Because the both entrances are used quite often. You come through the backside like this, past this little tiny church here. The church is real tiny, by the way. Have you ever seen inside of it? A real, real tiny church. They're going this way and. Uh, Who's, why? <laughs> Are there elves that live in this swamp? I have no idea, but this is the tiniest church I've ever done seen. <laughs> Good for them uh, swamp elves, I guess. You know what's real funny? What? There's an ad in here for uh, Frank's business. <laughs> <laughs> This is uh, sugar cane. Not a good place to hide out. A lot of people ride past here, but a lot of people don't stick around. My horse is easily recognizable, so I'm gonna leave him right here. I like to go over the fence up here and just get on over. So if they come looking for me, they like, where's your horse? A big snapping turtle that feather had. Just a hunter. Is that yeah. like his pet or something? I think that thing was dead. I think he hunted some bitch out in the swamp. You like to hide underneath the water. If you ain't lucky, take your toe off. No, since we're here for business, I might as well wear my Sunday clothes. I gotta talk to a bunch of porn people and a bunch of porn pecker heads. My contact, by the way, for guns won't be able to buy until the 17th, he says. As well. But you can always sit a Taipan or a Co. Yeah, I got his telegram. So I ain't gonna sell them because uh, my contact has promised me extra reward for the weight. So he's gonna probably pay a higher percentage this time. He pays pretty well most times, anyways. Uh, the thing about uh, coal is that uh, this is a fancy place. Sunday clothes. They're out there looking for a dirty, scummy outlaw. I look the opposite now.
people wearing something so fancy. Well, now look now, nice. I'm doing business. The law's looking for some dirty outlaws. I ain't look like one. I look like a fella going to church. Yeah, they certainly ain't looking like a fella wearing... <laughs> they ain't looking for no lumberjack. No, they ain't. Miss, your bosom looks nice today. See, she smiled at me. I saw that. Frank has your ring ready. I got some things he might like as well. Found a jewelry box. And while we're at that little church there, those are the kind of things he likes, specialty items. Any money you have, if you want to turn into gems, this is the moment to do it. I'm going to introduce you to my Taipan feller there. If he's, if he's around, it's Mr. Way. You will take off, you know, turn all that money to gems. And if you ever get caught by the law, they ain't going to empty your bank account then. That's for sure. Where do you keep your gems? Right here in the bank. They don't search the bags. They just search the money. Oh. Um, you know, you can even keep them in your own little storage as well if you want to. Let's get going. Got that bush in my way.
Right in here. Anybody working right now? Got some business. Buy a ball action rifle from these guys now. Not a bad gun. Very pricey. Yeah, but it puts men down. Slow to reload, though. Not sure where they're at right now. I'll ask around town. I'll send a telegram to Mr. Way saying I got some bases with him. I'm not thinking about spending some of his money at the casino now. Thinking about it. Good place right here to uh, stash some things away. There's a chest right there. Great right there, over there. Not a bad place to make a nice little storage.
I send my telegrams. I think I'm going to see if Frank's around. You might want to come if you got business with him. God damn, I'm tired from all that riding for some goddamn reason. I'm trying to wake myself back up. It's too early. Well, we've had a pretty long day. Not a bad day, but a long, good one. Mm-hmm. I show you. Uh, let's see if Frank's at his place. If he ain't, I show you where the Fight Club is. Frank, you inside. Frank, you in the basement. Are you inside? I'll show you where this little place is. Good bet in there, too. Bet on the fights. See who wins, make some money. Figure out who the tough, tough fight star. Make some real good money that way. Right down here.
Ain't nothing too special, but people spend a lot of time here. Sometimes. Huh. Well, there's another fight night soon. I ain't watched one for some time. I'd watch one. Is there betting? There is betting. Mm -hmm. Bar right over here. Not too bad. There's a little saloon out this way as well. Not too bad. Always empty when I go there. I ain't never seen anyone in it, but it's a quiet place. I'm hungry too. Like the entire goddamn town is empty right now. Where the hell is everyone at? I'll take you to a fancier establishment. Is there some sort of party going on? Where's everybody at? Who's this guy? What you running from? I'm not running from anything. I thought you was for a second. You just sweating because you want to be all wet? Are you running from? <laughs> My sins. <laughs> I guess the same for me sorry? as well. <laughs> I've met you before, haven't I? You work for Mr. Uh, Way? No, I don't. I work for myself. But I'm often in Taipan, so I think I met you in there, yeah. Yeah, you did. Oh, R&B, how you doing, sir? I'm doing well. What was your name again? Elio. Elio, that, remake, that, that reminds me. Yeah, you're the guy who always gets mixed up with Hank and stuff like that. Yes, you should worry. But now, you know is uh, Mr. Way around today, or is he out on business? I believe he's around in about an hour or two. Perfect. I got business to sell up to some bitch. Oh, there you go. You've always got business, haven't you? You're mm -hmm. Business oriented. Now, is this your your nephew? Oh yeah, this is my <laughs> nephew. He's a little peckerhead. A peckerhead. Oh, no, mm -hmm. peckerhead. His wife just got him divorced. Ain't that weird? You don't think that happens very often, but she ran off with some rich man. Your wife divorced you. 
Yeah, she left me for a rich man. He had all the gold in the land. He was a king in some far off island in Africa, I think. Is that just what you're telling yourself? That's what he's telling himself. <laughs> Whatever helps me sleep at night, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, yeah. Unfortunately. Off the road here. Yeah. My name's John Eisler, by the way. I know, Mr. Eisler. Making sure you remember. Ain't been around for a minute. Right. That's alright. That's alright. How could I forget? And what about you? What about me? What's your name? Bentley Crooks. Bentley Crooks? That's right. Okay. That's a good name. Maybe people say to me it's a strong name. People tell me it's a fancy name. It is fancy. It I don't is know fancy. what people, people... Every single different person may has a different comeuppance on my name. Well, yeah, I mean, what do you think about your name? I think it's a... Uh, I think you've never met a Bentley before. I haven't met a Bentley before. And that's all that matters. That is, that's all that matters. You like to be unique. That's for sure. You like what? You like to be unique. Being unique? Mm-hmm. That's right. You're ever, you're only ever going to meet one of me. That is true. There's probably only one Bentley Crooks in, in the crossing. That's right. I don't think there's many Elios in the crossing either, so. There's a shitload of Johns everywhere. Yeah, but there's only one John like you, ain't that right, Mr. Eisler? That's right. There you go, there you go, that's what we like to hear. Mm -hmm. Well, I will tell Mr. Wade that you're looking for him if I see him, but I'm doing a bit of business myself today. No, you I appreciate it. You don't have a comb, do you? I don't, but I got a jewelry box if you want to buy one. No, I'm trying to I'm trying to get a comb. I'll get you a comb. Be right back. All right. You go, I'm gonna grab back. That'd be fifteen dollars. I had to run across, I had to steal it. I have, I have, I have, I have eaten. Oh, hello, sir. Sir, meet Nana. How you doing, miss? Hello to you. Must be five dollars. Oh my gosh, thank you. Five, I'll pay you three dollars. Is that all you got? Hey, excuse me, fellas. That's all of it. That's fine, I'll take it. Thank you. Miss Nana here is the finest cook in all of the crossing. Well, that's good See. to know. Mm -hmm. This is very true. I have to yeah, find I myself real Italian hungry. Deep. And if you don't eat all of it, she smacks you on the back of the head with a newspaper. <laughs> I got a big appetite, miss. Where's What's your restaurant at? Well, it's not a restaurant. Yeah, just a house. Just a house? All right. Uh, yeah. You see, I cook. I cook for the close parents and people and family. Mm. Yeah, she's the best. Well, I will eat. Two plates, I swear. Yeah. Two plates. Oh, Benny, Benny, Benny. Mm -hmm. This is good to eat. Alright, what? You are, you are like a broad man, Mr. John, so I can see that. Let's get out of the rain.
Uh, sorry. Well, you by any chance, did uh, Bentley go with those uh, kind, bullshit-headed deputies? I, I don't know where Bentley went, if I'm being completely honest with you, Mr. He was Jones. right there. I think he might have went with the deputies, yeah. God damn it. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. I'm probably gone. I have no idea. Probably saw Nana and just booked it. That was a close one. Maple would definitely be after me right now. The crimes I've committed. No, I didn't. Do me a favor. I'll give you a couple yeah. bucks. Go on by okay. the station there, see if he's inside. All right, I will. I appreciate it. I'll be right over here. Yes, sir. Thanks, Robert. Okay. Yeah. Look at sharp, McAllister. I like the outfit. Great with that, like you. I try and dress nice, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a sheriff, I think, right out there. I know that they're looking for me a little bit at least. I think you guys can hear that popping with like static electricity from this blanket. That's on me. 
My parents' house gets a lot of static electricity. Inside here, Leo. Inside here. He's up. He's not in there. What? He's not in there. Not in there. No. Is I'll there... go look around town and see if I see him. All right. I was curious because they're asking him questions and uh, maybe they'll say that's a real recognizable name. And I wanted to back off just in case he looked my way and recognized me. Me and Maple. Let me just check out. Sorry, what? Would you let me check at the back of the uh, the station? Because yes, he please. wasn't inside it. Okay, I'll be right now. Hell yeah. I thought they got you for a second. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a fast son of a bitch. You run? I ran. That's, you, they, just, you see me go the other direction where I went the alleyway? Yeah. You, know they, you know what they told me? What did they say? I was like, I think it, the conversation went like, Finley, did you know you're wanted? And I was like, I didn't know that. And they were like, all right, we're going to need you to stand right there. And I was like, I got one thing to say to you. I paused, turned around, and I ran. <laughs> Shit. I'm surprised Mabel ain't recognized me. That's why Sunday clothes is important. Making up, you know, fake names and things like that. On the fly, like, that's all important. Well, I think you did amazing, guys. Well done. Mm -hmm. But, Mr. John, no job is done unpaid. Yes, you're right. That's how it works I here. I did one better. I found your man in Bruton too. Yeah. And I offered you some money as well. Thank you, sir. There you go. Thank you. I'll take it. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Take care and have a lovely day. Don't get caught. Thank you, Elio. Thank you for the poem, by the way. I enjoyed it. No problem. I thought it was a good one, right? It was good. Don't tell no one it's bad because it ain't. <laughs> all right. All right. Thank you. Can't wait to hear your poems. See you later. You know the best part? Is you just hang out inside this building? Law and was never come inside of here. <laughs> All right, let's get out of this place. Oh, wait. Did you finish your business yet? No, I haven't. Mr. Will be here any minute now. If you want to go your separate way for a bit, I'll send you a telegram. Oh, but I gotta get my ruby done. Well, I'll show you where to stand around. The law won't find you over here. Follow me. Like I said, only reason... I come through St. Denis to do business because it's big, easy to run, easy to hide. So you know, while they were chasing me, something real funny happened. What's that? He call, he whistles over his horse. I take his horse right before it reaches him. <laughs> That's good. That's real good. If you ever wanted, just take the alleyways. Now you That's know. What I did. No, just even walking around, if they're looking for you, just walking around casually.
There's always a good alleyway to dip into. Things are good, thank you. Let me show you something. Come over here. You want a nice place to wait. We don't have to worry about no one seeing you right here while you're waiting for Frank to come back to the store. All right, this is a good spot. I'll stay here. Just come All get right. me when you're done. Take care. I'll send you a telegram if I don't get done anytime soon. your business. Hello.
All right, we got to head towards um, We got to head towards uh, the gun store. Mr. Way should be around here any minute now. If they carry around too much money, it could be trouble for us. If the robbery goes backwards, they could take the money we had. If Gobberhead's there, it's going to be good. Is not known for the best tag. We're just gonna go straight upstairs. Okay, how you doing, man? It's good to have you back. I feel like the the, the story of Ryder Whitlock is definitely growing. It's becoming more and more known for what he does. Maybe not by name, but by action. I gotta get a paper. You just shopping or do you work with Taipan? Come again? Are you just shopping or do you work with Taipan? I am. Um, well, I'm working as a security boy. I was wondering when they're going to be around, is all. Well, I don't know. I haven't seen anyone. What's your name, fella? I just woke up. I'm Phoenix. Phoenix. You seen Copper yeah. around? Well, you just woke up. Never mind. Yeah, I just woke up. I, I just came here. I haven't seen anyone around. I'm sure they'll be around here shortly. I got business to get done, and I can't wait until it does get done. Yeah, well, I'm sure they'll be around. So, I hear usually about this time if I'm right. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's good to know. Howdy. You don't work here, right, boss? No, nah, I don't. All right, I just want to make sure I wasn't taking from your business or something. No, there's uh, a feather behind you. He's security. 
The other feathers ain't come in yet. Hopefully soon, because I got bases to get done as well. You're just looking for some handgun bullets. All right, well, take care, gentlemen. Mm hmm. Thank you. How long have you been working here for, Phoenix? Ooh, um, I think about three months now. Three months? Yeah. Not too bad, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's, it's nice. I like it. They're nice to me, I'm nice to them. Yes. They seem to do business pretty good. I heard uh, there was a bit of a divide with their people recently, is that true? Well, I, uh... Oh, business is still running. That's good. I heard it wasn't necessarily on bad terms, it's just difference in opinion on how to run things, is what I heard. Yeah, well, I uh, don't know any details. I am mostly working as a medic, and in my free time, I'm coming here. All right. Someone upstairs? Nobody upstairs. Oh. I just seen he was up there. Doing paperwork or something, and I figure I'd just intrude. And uh, what's your name, by the way? John Eisler. John Eisler, okay. And uh, you work for who again? I work for myself. Oh, okay. I have some business to conduct. With your company, mm -hmm. you buy some jams and things of that sort. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm sure Mr. Way will be interested in that. I have got some business of copperhead as well. I got him a bow. I think you'd appreciate very much. Did you find his bow or did you buy him a bow? I found it. Which one? The red one? I'll take a look at it again, but I know he's missing one of them. Is it etched? I have to check. I don't have it on me. Oh, no. well, I gave him that. Hey, I heard it's real sentimental. You've been looking for it. Yeah, well, I think it's the one I gave. Who had it? <sighs> Some peckerheads causing problems out there on the road, and well, they got a shootout with me, and I taught them to listen. So you work as a security as well? Sometimes it's more defending myself out there. I hear the uh -oh. Heartlands have been a real dangerous place lately. Heartlands? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. Outlaws everywhere. Well, yeah, well, I've been lucky. I've been just, I've been robbed just once or twice. You ain't gotta be killed for out there. Yeah, I never got involved in a shootout. It's definitely dicey it. shit for sure. Blood and guts and people screaming. Yeah. Well, I'm practicing right now with my gun. Just for the case. That's good. And there's a tree up on the hill outside of uh, roads. Got a bunch of bottles hanging from it. Yeah, I know that one. Yeah, well, I mostly go over to uh, Shady Bell. I heard that's a good one as well. Yeah. That has some scarecrows and all that stuff, so... And it's not that far away. I'm going over there sometimes to practice. Always good to keep your gun hand strong, that's for sure. Yeah. But just in case... <clears throat> I 
I tell you what, it's been a long day for myself. That's for sure. Hmm. What did I, you do? We rode all over the goddamn country today. Oh, okay. Sounds interesting. Reason is back and forth. Is just a lot of riding. That's for sure. Now, you ain't this tired by now, but it happens. <sighs> I just woke up and I'm still tired. Things keep being quiet that, that way. I think I'm going to go to bed again, or maybe just sit down in my apartment and read a book. I'm hoping they come through soon because I want to get this done so I can get out of town. I ain't much fancy these big places. Not me. Yeah, well, I like that quite more. Now it's a nice town. I ain't go there much. Yeah, I like it. It's quiet. It's not that big. It's got a bit of both. It's a city. No. It's like a city and, well, like a village. It's a mixture of both. I like it. Mm-hmm. I'll be back soon. I'm gonna go check my telegram. Yeah, sure. Earlier, this place was real busy. Silly Rabbit, how you been? By the way, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. I check my telegram. I don't remember doing that. I need to fill up my canteens. But I saw him stumbling out of his schoolhouse in the middle of the night for nothing.
Tension Films. I have to say, your role play voice sounds exactly like Tom Hardy in the Revenant movie. I've been told to watch that, and I keep forgetting to watch it. Well, I play rough and gruff, some bitch. You ain't like too many people. And I'm a goddamn pecker here as well. There's robberies on the Heartlands. That's how it does things. The way of the road for me. The way of the road. I need to watch Reverend. I think I've seen it once a long time ago. I just don't remember. Reverend. Yeah, thank you, Tension Films. I appreciate it. Welcome on in, by the way. First time seeing you, chat. We have a long day of roleplay to go. My character has a lot of bases to get done. We robbed a lot of people out on the road. I stashed $300. Got several guns I need to sell. A lot of business. Taipan, hurry up. Where's the top hand with your nail? Goddamn Taipan. Goddamn Taipan, yeah. Goddamn Taipan. Goddamn Taipan. Goddamn Taipan. Damn Taipan, yeah. I have Mr. Way send me a telegram.
Let's get my horse. I'll change clothing and I'll get my horse. My ass hurts. <laughs> Was sitting down too long. I didn't take a break soon. I've been sitting in this really uncomfortable chair for too long. Since um, I'm watching my parents' dogs, I'm, I don't have my chair. I just have a fold-out chair. And it making my ass sore after a while of sitting in it. cards maybe
também. Vai, vamos, vamos, vamos. It's similar that, but way more. You have to have the state, it's questions. stable. You gotta yeah, know. I don't care. You know. It's, it's an honor. Oh. You're okay. Oh, Christ. Oh, my God. That's not the same. They're, um, they're talking you see about tongue to again. again. That's what really? you missed. Hmm? See why I come to town, Jimmy? No. <laughs> what? You don't like the amusement? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Found time when we saw that lady oh, no. get stabbed in the chest. You okay? So the difference is that <laughs> Jesus. you're doing it from the front of your mouth with your tongue. You're going. <laughs> it ain't that. It's the back what? of your throat. It's Speed to it. <laughs> I say it. It's the back of your throat. <laughs> no. What the I hell? Say <laughs> 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 oh. The back of your throat, not the conversation mm. just not make me laugh mm. as much as it mm. Keep going. This conversation should It's a rapid speed of your tongue. I, I, can't, I cannot do that. I can okay. see you. That's my lovely lady. Not. You know, I wasn't gonna say yes, Josie. I was just, uh, you know. <laughs> he's like, he's he's he was just hesitating. <laughs> he was just hesitating on the no. Speaking of, um, whoa, come on, man. Ah, uh, Scout. Hi, Mr. <sighs> Can I get a beer? Absolutely. Mm. How would y'all like to dance? Wait, Mark, was it? Remy, Remy what? No, they, no, no, they don't. They, no, no, thank you. Remy, oh. really, Only one he's, whole he's, dollar. Just, he's just shy. Would you hey, like to thank you, Mr. Mr. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's for, God, uh, no. that's for one yeah, of the... Yeah, yeah, I was told you, you can make that for today. No, that's not it. I'm not interested. In it. I just so. thank you, though. I appreciate it. How you doing? I'm doing just fine. How about yourself? I'm all right. I just was heard that you we came by the fort today. We want one of them $5 today. coffees. Huh? Asshole. I just heard you came by the fort today, Fort Mercer. <laughs> God damn it! I did. You sure did. You know how to talk to women, don't you, bro? What was your name again? Okay. I, I met you the other day, right? Yeah, he did. Right. right. Bear John. Yeah. Bear John, that's right. right. Darling, all right? I don't want any old $5 coffee. I want some <laughs> nice Sorry, coffee. I got real tired last night. I never uh, met you for that drink. That's right. I am getting pretty busy with that stuff as well. I guess we'd be surprised. Yeah. Yeah, who would spend $5 on I actually met James Kidd a long time ago. I doubt he remembers me. All the small cat shit, you know what I'm talking about, that fancy stuff. I am sure you may, I don't know. Jimmy may have no idea. What the hell? Got any business to bring forth? Oh, he sure did. I made myself some good money today. In fact, uh, I believe uh, Kelly's niece was out running in the same roads I was because I kept finding some bitches with their pockets Coffee's empty. Made from <laughs> yeah. I'm really concerned you that what you folks doing in town today? Are, are Anyways, yeah, just wandering yeah. around. Wipe your hand off. Really and if you want to, clammy. I don't know. Okay, there we go. If he is, makes me feel better then because. <laughs> I came in here thinking, I might get a drink, but it might be a bad idea if, uh, mm -hmm. what, yep. Deputy oh, Maple sees me? He'd probably try <laughs> to right. arrest me on the spot. You wanna, you wanna I never a, made him. A no, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm good. He's a peckerhead who runs out of the sheriff office here, I think. It'll be five dollars. I don't want to I see. I'll be paying for it. Okay. How long have you been riding them, Bear John? Before you run, right? With them? Mm-hmm. For a long time. They're my family. Jim's actually my nephew. I didn't know that. But I don't much about them anyway, so I 
Thank you. Not family, then, no is worries. it? You guys most fa mostly family? Well, shit, well. Hmm. Uh, yes. James and Remy. Yes. Yes. James comes back through here. I'll introduce Gosh. myself to him again and see if he remembers me. I'm eagerly waiting. I'm, I'm sampling. I'm sampling. <laughs> I'll see. I'll see. Is it worth it? A long time ago, like I was saying, he said, if you want to have fun, come out west and try to find him. Back uh -huh, when I was uh -huh. about to do a job what? over in uh, Valentine, I was meeting up with one of my old bosses. Yeah, I've never yeah, it, uh, heard it, of somebody it tastes like coffee. coffee. Yeah, that's only yeah, I'm sure if you speed right. him, we can drum first. up some business, maybe get you this in the order best to do I've something. Ever had. I don't oh, know. Thank God. <laughs> I just got out of Cisco the other day, so I'm still getting yeah, my too, bearings. And I'm not surprised. Uh, one business. Definitely better than what they sell at the Cisco general definitely store, makes it hard for you to remember what you was doing last when you were there so goddamn long. Oh, yeah, I was in there for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. That like... Wait. Uh, anyway, it was nice seeing you again, Mr. Dogs, Mr. Like, like, well, you better John. Hey, you take care. while I'm out of here, just call me, call me John. All right? No. John. John Eisler, from now, while well, I'm out of here. All righty. You drink dog sweat coffee? Oh, not sweat. Oh, thank No, false alarm, false alarm. Oh, okay. No need to worry. Why the fuck are they charging you to drink dog sweat coffee? <laughs> Well, I mean, nothing would surprise me after selling Katja coffee in San Denis. Oh my god. Ugh. I haven't even been to the AK yet, much less tried the coffee. It's real fancy. They've got, you know, they've got lights down there that turn off of, like, not candles. Well, part of it's fancy and part of it's not fancy. Let me see that coffee. <laughs> you want to taste it? <laughs> James, you remember you me? What is By chance. What's in the fucking coffee? What's he tasting? I don't know. Assessment take a sip, take a sip. So. And now give me a sip. I don't know. I can't, can't really tell. What is that? I can't tell either. What secret, is it, Scout? Secret recipe. Secret recipe. Wait, that's a secret recipe as well? Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's God gonna cost it. you another fifty dollars. Another how much? Compound. You would pay me fifty dollars for the recipe to get the recipe. I was for saying, do you remember me a while I'm back? Sell eleven and I'm five dollars in profit. You know what? Never mind. Yes, I'm never giving you, you the recipe. You said if I wanted to have some fun, come find you. you Last I was talking to you, if I remember. Why would you put it out there and then take it back? It's just what I do. Try and get you. Said I'm hard of hearing. I've been out on the road all day. I just said, yeah. You got my telegram though, didn't you? I don't remember. I think I had an old book that got taken by the law. Let me double check a little quick. Honest okay. honest living, Dalton. You think what's wrong you got, with you? You got shit in your eye? No, no. I'm just, I'm just wondering why you're questioning me. No, I ain't got your telegram. An job behind an honest counter instead of doing what I usually do, and you're giving me a hard time for it. It's NB two forty, nice boobs. This 240. is not me giving anybody a hard time. Right. Okay. What was that? If you want a hard time, I can give you nice a hard boots, time. Fella, nice that boots. coffee tasted that? like oh. shit. That's something else. Okay. Take that back. Dolan. That's just mean. That's not yeah. a hard time. That was a lie. Well, I got I some things I could offer you. you if you want to talk here or somewhere else, whatever's fine. Rude. Tell you about some things I might be able to do for you. giving me a hard time. I didn't mean it. Hey, we can talk out soon. You don't have to apologize. I'm not Mr. Jack. Okay. Come on, we're riding Thank you. to talk to this fella right here. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, wait, yeah, John. Take care. Take care, bye. <laughs> I've been a bit busy out here myself, and I think I've made some good contacts and things and so on, and uh, I'm on a new line of business that I'm trying to offer up to certain people who might need it. You see, I ain't mind going to Sisica for a price. For example, if you got a fella inside who uh, may have wronged you, for the right price, Kelly, I'll go in there and fuck him up for you. Well, I don't really do mercenaries. Well, that's fine. I forgot to offer that as well, but on the other hand, your friends were telling me that you were looking for gems and uh, guns as well. 
Spare Germs Garns information. That's About good. a fellow named Edgar Lopez or the Blood Witch. If you got it, I'll pay you for it. Uh, Edgar who? Edgar Lopez. All right, and what are you looking for from him? This is whereabouts, what he does, where he visits. All right, keep that in mind. I'm uh, mostly a highway bandit, so... You definitely get a lot of guns from me, some gems, pocket watches, things like that, if I have a few. I find you at the fort or send you a telegram. Yeah, that'll work. All right. I'm going to give you mine as well, just in case you need an extra man for something. You never know. And I make myself real useful out here these days. It's Long Dog. One six seven. LD one six seven. Yes, sure. Your name? Ryder Whitlock. Fucking shoot it. She coming in. Right to easy. I'll go that windy way else. One last thing. You got the paper on you by any chance? I do. We'll have to take a look at it. Way down you the way you. The way you get. They got like three, four people right now. They thought they could fuck with people who got ten gang members. Hmm? I heard about something recently people. about the law finally getting wise to the heartlands. I want to see if it's true. Yeah, but then they ended up losing money out of it. Ain't getting so. <laughs> nope. They stupid. I don't see nothing here about it. I'm just waiting for them to try something else. I guarantee you they're gonna try to catch me by myself. There again. Hmm. Well, some fellas are saying that I may have been in the news for all the highway robbing on the road. I want to see if they have my name or not yet. People. When you see them, might have been an old addition. Maybe. People, you know, and I'm in it, cause they well, I appreciate they your time, James I'm Kelly. Hopefully, I see you around. Mm-hmm, I know. Take it easy, Rhonda. Mm-hmm. He's stupid as hell that they gonna rob people when they hang out. Hopefully we get some business through James Kelly. Hopefully. I'm thinking about taking a short break. I'm getting real tired. I've been going at it for, uh, how long now? How long have we been live for? Double check. Fuck, five hours? All right, hey, I'm gonna take like a two hour break. Come on around five. I just gotta rest my back and my ass. The, ch the chair I'm sitting on is fucking destroying me. Where's the paper in here? Jeez. God. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out. My ass is killing me, so I'm going to get out of here. Take care. Ta-ta. Bye-bye.